Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey, you know what it is, your weekly podcast on the Sakamichi series Idol Groups. That's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, and Hinata Zaka 46, Season 6, Episode 9. Uh, some It's been a while, chat, and viewers on YouTube, my bad. Uh, we got a lot of news to catch up on, you know, we got, we got a bunch of 35th single updates. From Nogi Zaka 46. We got some uh, 11 single news coming from uh, Hinata Zaka as well. But before we get into all of that, I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, aka Jimmy Tweets. I'm joined as always by my friend and my fellow host. We have Josh, Mr. Josh Box. Hello. I'm here with a minimal setup today. That's why it looks different. <laughs> you, you, know what you, you know what you look like? You look like a tech YouTuber. A tech YouTuber? Is this yeah. the type of lighting they do? Yeah. yeah. Or is it you, just like. You, I don't even know. You you look like you're about to uh, tell me about a new phone, and then not actually oh, physically. No, you don't. You don't hold it up. You don't hold it up. You're gonna just talk about it, and then you're gonna cut to B wheel of it. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's the vibes. Is it? Is it the? I don't. Know, is it the lighting? What is it? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the. I think it's the lighting. It's it's. Uh... Okay, it's I'm seeing some like, like photography and videography YouTubers mm -hmm. that do like a big like box light and like <laughs> have like all this stuff around. Five, top five, top ways, five ways to, to fix, fix your sleep schedule. There yeah, we go. Exactly. Anyways, how, how have you been, Mister Box? I've been all right. Been all right. Um, this weekend I went to go see my friend do a marathon. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of people. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you, like, do you, so do you show up for like the, the end of it? Or I do you show watch up like the, the whole thing. Oh, okay. I'll see. How do <laughs> They're you running watch... on the side instead of participating. <laughs> yeah. How do you watch a marathon? I, I, I have actually I, never really thought about that. Some people go to like different checkpoints though. Like they go like, cause this one was in LA. So it was like, you started like in Dodger stadium and in Santa Monica. Mm hmm. And then, uh, so some people go to like Hollywood or like different spots and then wait for them to run by. Okay, but, uh, so you, it was you just like traffic, up, yeah. traffic at the finish line. Hectic. I was like oh. in traffic, stuck in one spot for like 30 minutes. And I was like, I'm going to go find some residential spot to park at. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how's, the only way. How, how'd your friend do? Good, good. For some reason, he sprinted at the end. I was like, why are you? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> he's got to he got he got to show up for his time, dude. He's got to. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I imagine people are de are tired after that. Mm. Like after you run a marathon, you're like, the last thing you want to do is drive. So so when when uh when am I gonna see the the Mister Box marathon, dude? Oh, are you gonna join me, Jimmy? No, God no. <laughs> Oh, actually, they make they make the the participants park at the finish line, and then they they take a shuttle to the starting line. That way, when they finish, oh. the car's already there. That that okay, that makes sense. Like I said, uh, I've never. Uh, that's <laughs> not my scene. Back. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell, but that's just not my scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> so uh, I've never. That's that's cool though. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, it was interesting. Like seeing everyone like finishing up the marathon and then people cheering them on i'm like this is a good good vibes you know mm, it's just like camaraderie crum, yeah, camaraderie crum, yeah. camaraderie yeah uh-huh i mean that was my that's my favorite part about powerlifting right yeah it's yeah, like true even when uh you know you guys are competing against each other but everyone uh -huh. wants to see somebody you know everybody else do well right every yeah, now and yeah. then you have that weird random asshole that's like you know, obviously it's good to be competitive, but when you're like too competitive, it's just like, bro, you gotta fucking chill. You know, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure yeah. I'm sure marathons or any, or any sports have have those guys mm -hmm. too. You know, but mm -hmm, for the most part, mm -hmm. everyone wants to you know see everybody else do their best, get their best totals, their best times, get their PRs. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, because because it is almost like like sure it's a competition in a in a sense, but like. Mm -hmm. At the, at the same time, everyone's going on their own, their own goals. Mm. Like everyone's going for their PR. Everyone's trying to finish the marathon, get a better time. No, like I, 
Like, especially for marathons, I don't think anyone's going like, oh, I'm going to get first place. All right. So if if I were to walk the entire marathon. You'd have to, like, speed walk it. And no, I'm I'm getting like I'm doing like a like a like an 18 minute mile. <laughs> How long is that shit? You're walking yeah. down. How long is that shit gonna take? See LA hot dog. Oh, can I get one? <laughs> Cause I, okay, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that, dude. There's a cutoff, Jimmy. There's a cutoff. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> By the time you get there, like, where's everyone? <laughs> So, they, oh, so like, I, they cleaned you, up and everything. You have to do a 15 minute mile to to uh to, to meet the cutoff. Mm. How many miles in a marathon? 26. 26 miles, right? And then so <laughs> 26 uh, times 15. 26. Times fifteen. That's three hundred and ninety minutes divided oh, by sixty. 60. <laughs> that's six and a half. I get six and a half. Okay. What's what's a four what miles seven? Hour. What about a seventeen minute mile? It's a good See, walk. Pace, it's right? just a, it's just a, yeah, like a speed walk, you know. Okay. All right. I can't. I can't just be like yeah. I can't be going for a stroll, right? I, yeah. 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 Where I, I need that. I need like what's my competitive stroll competition <laughs> marathon? Just pretend you know there's a deal, you don't have a car, there's no public transport, but you still gotta make it to the grocery store to get the deal. Oh, okay. Just be like, Oh, Habu's going, you have no other way other than walking. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, Jimmy's going seven minutes per mile, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never last. <laughs> Half a block down, I'm just on the ground. <laughs> yeah, <the> floor, yeah. <laughs> Sucking air. <laughs> Jimmy, I walked here. He could have just walked. <laughs> I, okay, that's my biggest thing about it, I, I think, uh, Marathon. Because I, well, maybe now. Maybe now with all these injuries and being old as fuck. Um, but I don't know where. Like, so people get it twisted. I'm not slow. I just don't like running. All right. Uh-huh. No, there's a difference. There's a difference, dude. No, I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I I can well, when when I was younger, especially when I played football, I could I did I was, you know, decently fast. You know, um, sprints. Let's go. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll sprint all day. Not all day. That defeats the purpose. But you know. But uh, any any day you want. But uh, yeah. going. I don't know how to pace myself, I th- and I think that's like the biggest thing. Right for a marathon is like to be to be competitive, anyways. Right, it's like you you not you, you gotta you know pick up the pace, but you gotta know what pace you can go at that you can mm-hmm. last. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I it, it might look like you're lightly jogging. You're like this guy isn't even trying, but no, it's mm-hmm. twenty six miles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like Dodgers that would be me. Santa Monica, I'd be the crazy. guy. I would be the guy that like is passing up everybody. And it's like, huh, what the fuck? This is easy. And then like three minutes down, I'm like. <laughs> it's like when you ran the mile in middle school. <laughs> you're like, oh, you see everyone going fast at the beginning. And then they're walking at the end. It's like, mm. okay. I was one of them. So I knew. <laughs> oh, I. Uh, what is it? So I want you, as, as I may have mentioned before, I went to a performing arts school for high school. So like uh, I, I didn't take normal PE. I took dance. Right. Um, oh, okay. But we still had to do, you know, like the the California state like fitness right. tests, right? They were the like the push ups, the sit ups, and then uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember for the the mile time, like uh, when I was younger, pretty decent, pretty decent. You know, I I would get like, I don't know, like I said, like I'm not a fucking runner. I was I was getting like thirteen minute mile or some shit like that, right? I was like, oh. but you know, it's still like okay, I, I put some I mm-hmm. put some effort in there. Mm-hmm. Um, my, uh, what is it? My, as I got older, it got worse because I just stopped caring, you know? Uh-huh. And then like, because I took dance, there was always like a girl that I liked, 
in my dance class or some shit. And then so I would just walk it with her and just talk the <laughs> entire time instead. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is a um not the uh probably skewing the average in the wrong direction, but it is what it is. Um they don't count that either way. <laughs> yeah. It's it's, it's crazy like how t- testing every school. All right, let's see what the average is. <laughs> what do they what do they do with that, dude? You know, what I mean, like I has know. anyone ever failed the high the, the California high school fitness exam, dude? The pacer test, dude? I, I'm sure I did. <laughs> Down, up, <laughs> down. Uh, what was the one we we used to uh, run back and forth, and it would like beep at you, and every time it go a little bit faster? Is it just relays? Uh, that's the pacer test, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's like part of it, right? Mm-hmm. Beep test. Yeah, the pacer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the pacer is the running test. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh So it's basically like 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 suicides, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Incorrect terminology. Now I don't know. Well, I mean, (laughs) that's all I know too. (laughs) Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, I I I want to say I gotta I I I gotta uh, make an apology to everybody. Uh, Let me get my ukulele out. Um, I'm sorry that there was no episode last week. There, I said it. It's my fault. It's my fault. No, uh, so I I was super for people watching on YouTube wondering where we've been. Uh, firstly, I was just super sick last week. I uh, I was uh, well, just yeah. I messaged Josh. I was like, dude, there's no way I'm doing this podcast today. Um just feverish and then so i told you know i left it i left it up to him uh you know if you want to go on without me you can if you want to do it yourself feel free and uh i neglected the fact that uh josh's internet was built in the 1600s uh true literally every time he wish i had at least dial up (laughs) yeah every time he needs to load a page you know the queen of spain has to send out a a fucking ship (laughs) to 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 fucking hand deliver him uh send up the pigeon (laughs) yeah yeah. so um yeah unfortunately there was no podcast last week um but we're back we're back thank you everyone uh we will be back with this episode on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, hey, there should be another episode. Our episode with Boy will be Ooh, uh, double feature. Yeah, it will be uploaded jointly with this one. Um, so it is it is what it is. Uh, to be fair, I think it kind of worked out. A lot of the news regarding Nogi Zaka's 35th single kind of got spread out throughout the the past couple weeks Mm -hmm. kind of kind of sprinkled throughout so we're gonna give it to you all at once today really give it to you hard and fast you know that uh that hard-hitting news what we're known for hard-hitting news yep coming at you fast (laughs) oh uh (laughs) so let's uh let's go ahead and get into it shall we mr box let's do it all right first of all some he not the zaka 46 news uh, we got some unfortunate news uh, for those of you who may have been looking forward to uh, hearing their 11th single. Um, oh, sorry, we got some news just in. But let me let me do. So those of you looking forward to hearing their 11th single, uh, as we reported a while back, it was uh, scheduled to release April 10th. It's now delayed. Uh, unfortunately, um, there is no, uh, no date yet. Right. Um, as far as, uh, when the, uh, the single is supposed to release, um, if you're, if you're wondering why, well, uh, you know, well, now they have a, now they have a day. (laughs) Now they have a day. (laughs) May 8th. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Uh May 8th, we got a release. 
finally some news about this. Jesus. Uh, so right. I, I thought this was just the uh, title uh, being released or being announced. So that's why I didn't. I kept going with that hiatus news. But uh, we got both. We got the title as well as the release date. So as we alluded, May 8th, you're going to be getting uh, the single finally. Uh, why it got shifted back, we'll talk about later. But um, yeah, we got the title of this the 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 a side dude kimi wa honeydew oh honey honey you are honeydew <laughs> kimi wa honeydew are you uh, a fan of honeydew melon i actually am i i think okay well mm, mm, i think honeydews get a bad rap right every it, oh. it's it's the it's the uh it's the new um, uh, what's the deal with airline food? You know, uh, everyone always talks about like, oh, dude, they just, you know, when you get a fruit bowl, they just fill it up with honeydew. It's, or, or, you know, it's just, it's just a filler fruit, you know? I think honeydews are good when they're good. Well, like, if you get a nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet, juicy honeydew, that shit is S tier. Yeah. It's just, yeah. unfortunately, I, I like it more than of, cantaloupes. I think they're good in different ways if you get good ones. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, that's what both of them, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I, you know, I think, I think a, a good honeydew, ripe, mm -hmm. juicy, sweet, um, is Firm. S tier. Same with cantaloupe. Same with cantaloupe. If you get a, if you get one of those fruit bowls, you know, with the honeydew, uh, the the cantaloupe, cantaloupe grapes. The strawberry <laughs> grapes, maybe uh -huh. some bloobs. They're all oh, good if you get a good one, dude. If you get a good yeah. one. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, uh, yeah, so this Rotan. one, uh, <laughs> Kimiwa Honeydew, uh, is uh, <laughs> the A-side track featuring uh, Sho Genji Yoko. Uh, finally, an update. I, I've actually been kind of annoyed about the lack of uh, news. This is kind of a big, uh, big delay going from April 10th to May 8th, right? Mm -hmm. Um just just under a month delay uh when i think the push from a the pushback uh we'll talk about a little bit later uh was just a little bit over a week and a half for one of the other groups um you know i'm gonna stop being vague uh nogizaka's a side also got pushed back uh to <laughs> april 10th we'll talk about that later that's uh, obviously why this one got pushed back but uh, um yeah, that one went from April. Oh, sorry, May, March twenty seventh, uh, to April tenth. So yeah, just a little bit over a week and a half. Um, so, oh, sorry, about yeah, two weeks, two weeks. That got pushed back two weeks, while this is getting pushed back just under a month, which is kind of crazy, dude. Um, you know, you know what? They knew we were going to be in Texas, and they're like, they're going to be too tired coming from Texas that that week. So we got to push it back, everyone. We got to push it back a month. You know, they just they just looking out for us. But 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 that Ogi Zaka is still coming out that time. Classic Ogi Zaka. <laughs> See, every time I go to Japan, they don't don't mm. perform. Now we're gonna be too busy. They just Do out for me. I ever think. plan your trips around one of their performances? No. <laughs> 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 I, I'm, I'm just saying you know there's always a mid summer All I'm saying national is that I, I pick a day and everyone else sometimes has something going on sometimes okay <laughs> I'm just but saying I'm you saying, know what birthday exactly live is one. hey hey we, we got a we got a homie going to birthday live uh huh uh huh he found a way he found a way but I'm waiting to go with Jimmy in November, you know? Okay. You're trying to go to uh, any about it live with me, dude? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I've seen we'll Kiyaki Zaka before, so <laughs> the only <laughs> one's consistent in my life right now. <laughs> they're not Kiyaki Zaka anymore, Mr. Box. All, All right. right. True. True. Well, I mean, at is... one, one point, they were Kanji and Hiragana. Oh, hey, let me explain mm. to you the story. Actually, you could just go watch our, the video we made about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> um oh uh we're just getting a bunch of news all at once hey aren't you know what maybe maybe he not the zaka do be looking out for us uh I'm we got some you. jacket we got some jacket covers oh, he's sama. for uh, 
for uh this uh Kimiwa Hanidu uh single. Uh let's let's give it a looky loo. Oh, there's our girl Shogenji Yoko Shogeko, dude. Uh on the A side, dude. Um, there's uh we got Kosaka and Miku on the type B. We got uh, wait up, my internet's loading the picture. Wait up, it's literally <laughs> We got we got Meepad Katoshi Nibu on the Type C, uh, Type D. We've got see this uh, Kawada. Was that Sumi Legend? Uh, no, Kawada Kahori Sumi Legend and uh, Matsudo Ko. And then lastly, we have on the regular version Kumi, um, Suzy. We got Hiro. Oh, I can see it now. Uh, Yamashita got Mei Mei and then uh, Hinano. These are cute, I like these. Yeah, they look very, very uh, like what I want to see when I want like test images of a lens I want to buy. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> like, when I'm like, I, should I, I buy this lens? Let me see some examples of, of, of lenses. Of pictures people took with this lens, and these mm. are, this is what I want to see. This is what you're looking That's for. That's good bokeh okay. back there. Yeah, yeah, there is some there is some nice bokeh on the uh, Type A, right? Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's creamy, dude. Very tight lens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and very uh, you know, very round bokeh. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? I was gonna say it makes me it it gives me like STU vibes. I can see that with some of them, not with all of them. Like I can see that for C and D. Yeah, C and D. I think was mainly the ones that gave me that vibe. I think it's the yeah, because it's just blue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> blue is also Hinata Zaka's color, and I'm like, hmm, no, yeah, right? <laughs> very STU forty eight of yeah. you. Hmm. <laughs> um, the color palette, dude. These these are nice. I honestly, um, like these are solid. I, these are like. Safe but good. Yeah, exactly. It's you know you get them out in a nice location, uh, and you just take some you just take some good photos, dude. Uh, we don't need yeah. any fucking weird compositing. We don't need anything too crazy. Um, it just looks nice. I uh, I like the type setting on on some of these. Uh, I, I was saying that I was gonna say I like I like I like the type setting in general. But then I looked at the Shogenji Yoko one. I'm like, mm, you know, actually, never mind. I don't know about that, dude. Um, uh, you don't like that one? It's very... Uh, what is it? Kimi uh, wa... Like, I don't like that it's Melody. horizontal, <laughs> then vertical, and then horizontal again. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's mixing too many directions. Yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't like your. It doesn't flow naturally with your eyes, dude. You know what I mean? Mm. Like Kimiwa, like you know, your, your eyes are like jumbling all over the place, right? Obviously, this one is like, oh, Kimiwa. Then you have the members, Honey Do, right? Kimiwa, Honey Do. You can look fucking, you know, and the, you know, not. Oh yeah, because it goes Kimiwa, Honey, and then Do. Yeah. Your eyes are kind of jumping all over the place, right? See, mm-hmm. this one, this one's kind of weird. Kimi Hinata Zaka 46 wa honey to you. Um, yeah, because type D is the same, right? Yeah, type D is, yeah, it's basically this. Uh, no, well, I mean, the same in that way it's red, but I don't like the that, the placement of Hinata Zaka there. Uh, mm. hmm. I, I have mixed feelings because it's, it's kind of like, I like the aesthetic. I think it looks really clean, right? I like the uh, the simple, like uh, very you know linear font that they have. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's almost like they should have shot for it to have everything consistent, <laughs> but instead, the photos themselves came out like like on their own, and then the type whoever's doing the design of the actual covers like oh, I don't have to work around these. Mm, yeah. Ugh, I, I feel like there's some that they could have done something consistent. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to think. Even, I don't know, like maybe just have it in the lower third of each one. I think that would have been safe. Or maybe the lower third of some and the top third of others, right? Like maybe the top for these mm. two, the lowers for the, the the rest of them would have been fine and just filling out that space. Um, I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just my Western sensibilities, you know, my, my like inability to read Japanese. So any kind of a, a, a non-uniform typesetting makes me like very confused and upset you know <laughs> like mm. just lashing out like a child make this easier for me to read you know but uh, <laughs> i i just think it's not visually pe- appealing right mm. um yeah because i don't know when i look at it like uh like this I, I think it looks really nice i like it like this and then maybe we can have in the same font hinata zaka 46 just right here underneath that elongated line for you right Mm-hmm. Um, and then just, yeah, have that be the, on the top third for, uh, these two. And then, uh, the bottom third for the rest of them. I don't know. A lot, a lot like I would play with, I guess, but it's, it's, it's really not that offensive because it's so thin. It's, uh, it doesn't really detract yeah. from, uh, how nice these photos mm-hmm. are, which is nice, you know? And, and yeah, like I said, I like, I like how simple these are. It's very, they're very straightforward. Uh, just showcasing how, how nice the members look, how nice the scenery is. You know, we don't really need uh, some crazy compositing like a uh, like actually or some shit. You know, <laughs> the worst example. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I bring worse. that up because you know we we that that will forever be memed on, right? But those were forever. probably way more expensive than these. But these look so True. much true. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Like this is just mm-hmm. a photographer. All right, this is your schedule, girls. Uh, you're gonna shoot on this day. All right, photographer just has it set up. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So it is. Oh, this is kind of nice. All right, sorry for the next bit of news. Now, since we, you know, we had to wait, we have a the actual formation page. So I was going to announce that we have a new Senbatsu system. Right. Um. Oh no! Yeah, the, the this is the the first time the group is implementing uh, Senbatsu, right? Um, so we have the uh, the formation page, mm. right? So of course you go down to the bottom of the formation page, and we have uh, the the Senbatsu. You know, we we've been there. We discussed that before, but uh, I guess uh, if you're watching this podcast for your news, this would be new for you. Uh, we have uh the unders senbatsu yeah we have their lineup yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh mikuni we got center okay. Mikuni okay. center dude tall okay tower in the front middle let's go i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i yeah me too dude me too me me too i've i've actually really been on a mikuni come up for like the past year um you know she's she's cute dude i i, I really want to see her get some more work dude uh hopefully yeah this is yeah. she's able to leverage this for something of course we talked about last time uh takimoto ayaka's graduation dude big sag but uh yeah we got we got her in the front row as well as long as uh, you would think she'd be center right she's just, just being, yeah maybe being maybe she'll get one? a song maybe she'll get a song we don't know the the we'll full see. tracks list dude uh what is it but yeah then we have uh konishi pario uh mm-hmm. mari and uh shimizu rio in the second row mr box is gone that's okay i'll keep it going uh and then we got takuchi kirari rina watanabe sorry I, I can't help but read it this way because they have it this way when you have it in english uh takase <laughs> mana uh Ishizuka Tamaki and Hiroka Mitsuki in the back. Dang, Jimmy, you needed you needed the the English to help you remember the names. All right, Mr. Box, you're gonna play that <laughs> game. You're gonna play that game. <laughs> uh, I no, was going. To this, this formation is oh. interesting. Um, hmm. The. Aika not being center is interesting to me. Um, Mikuni being center is interesting. I, I like it, but 
maybe Aika didn't want the center position, or maybe she's like, I'm just gonna see myself out eventually, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll never, yeah, we'll never who know knows? the behind the scenes of that. Exactly. I do like the the surrounding new gen though, like in the back. Mm, mm-hmm. That's a pretty interesting formation. It's like the three with the two in the middle. I feel like dance wise, they can do something with that for sure. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because we got we got uh, a couple a couple triangles. You can think of it that way, all right? Yeah. Um, so we got a triangle of. Uh, what is it? Fourth gen here, a triangle of fourth gen here, and a triangle of senpai members here for the the back two rows, right? Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, it might be interesting to see anything they do with the formation. I'm kind of um, a little bit surprised with the uh, the senbatsu. I thought I don't know, uh, or with the the positioning, I guess is the correct word. I I, I honestly thought. Uh, Mitsuki was getting a little bit more uh, push, for lack of a better word, within the uh, the the fourth gen. I thought she was going to be a little bit further up the front row or the back row, but you know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I don't know where else she'd be. She'd go, you know. So I guess it makes sense, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, I'm definitely pleased with Nanami uh, Konishi on the, uh, the yeah yeah outside yeah, right here. You know, uh, mm-hmm. Shimizu Ryu, I really like her as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting some more information from uh, the the unders track. You know what kind of what's, yeah. what's the song name going to be? Uh, apparently, yeah, uh, you know, this is, uh, I'm bringing it up because someone brought it up in chat, but I've been seeing this comment around going around as well. How do you feel with them using the term unders? I mean, it's common vocabulary, right? Mm-hmm. Coming from Nogizaka, the unders. So, and even before Nogi, is, uh, AKB used yeah, under, yeah. right? Undergirls, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's not like it's anything out of left field. Like if if mm-hmm. they if they since they did use it, I'm I'm not like offended by it. I'm just like okay, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess some people are worried that it might cause confusion. You know, when we talk about unders and stuff like that, because you know, especially with uh, Nogi Zaka, they have like unders live, and mm-hmm. um. You know, they kind of built their branding around it. I don't think. Uh, oh, no, I bought the wrong ticket. I bought the Nogizaka Unders by accident. <laughs> I wanted to go see Nogizaka Unders. No one's going to do that. No I, I, do I, that. I, know, I know that, but I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, obviously, AKB has Undergirls, right? Um, and they're, they, they're. I'm sure other idol groups have it too. Unders as well. But, like, uh, I, I guess the, you know, they really haven't built. And this is just speaking from the perspective of a, a very casual 48 group enjoyer i haven't been like hardcore following them as much as i used to so maybe i'm wrong here but i just feel like you know maybe i, f- I feel like nogi zaka has built more of a branding around the term unders than they than akb did right um because akb to me felt very much this is senbatsu and leftovers right <laughs> and, so uh, many, yeah. yeah and then with nogi zaka it's I feel that like unders was was always very much, uh, you know, something that they wanted the fans to appreciate as well as its own thing, right? That, like, yeah, like almost like a subgroup know. inside the group. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I remember members would talk about it being meaningful that they were, you know, uh, part of the unders, you know, as part of like their identity and not so much like, you know, a, a fluid like oh sometimes I'm in unders and sometimes I'm in, in senbatsu, right? Uh, so I, mean, I don't I know. We can say it sounds better than Bax. Very true. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I think that maybe that's probably maybe some of the contention. I guess is uh, because you know we have uh, you know oh, Sakurazaka came up with their own name. You know why couldn't you guys? Um, I don't know. I I I don't I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I, I'm I'm just curious what you guys all think. Obviously, people watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment as well. Um, just some what of the name, discourse I hear. What name do they prefer? I don't know. Like, Come up Hiragana, with something. Hiratazaka? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sakura Zaka has backs. We're behind. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh no! Not the Wase Ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously they could have done anything, you know. Um, but it's uh, I, 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 it's like it's just the terminology mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, exactly. I, I think they're just using it's it easier as, to understand uh, what it means. Yeah, I think they're just using it as jargons and not so much like an identity thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Especially for people outside, they might be like, mm-hmm. "Oh, okay, I, I know what that is. That's from Nogizaka." Hmm. But who knows? But anyways, uh, so you might have noticed from the formation page, uh, we got some new member profile pics. Hey. Oh yeah. Hey, you know we love. We love to talk about it. Look at this bright cheese in the middle of my page, dude. Uh, Saito Kyoko, unfortunately, with the, uh, you know, as she's going to be graduating, they couldn't afford the uh, the two minutes it would have taken to take another picture of her um, along with you her. You know, it would have taken time out of her schedule, you know? Yeah, uh, you know, they, then they would have to person, make her, they'd have to make her uniform too. She couldn't just borrow somebody's for exactly. the Exactly. Um, exactly. <laughs> I, I get it, but I do very much hate that they do this i think if the member is sticking around for the promotion of uh the single that they should just do it you yeah know yeah I mean? no i agree yeah like um but anyways uh yeah we got some new if they're leaving hiatus. just leave them out of the pictures <laughs> oh they're leaving on hiatus just take them out <laughs> No, 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 that's di- okay. No, hiatus is different, Mr. <laughs> Bot. Hold on, you don't want the on. mix of pictures, right? That's what you said. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I don't like it, but I can understand it. Um. Anyways, uh, what do you think about these pictures, Mr. Box? I like them. I like them quite a bit. I think they were uh, definitely an upgrade from the uh, the cheese. Of uh last last <laughs> one, dude. Last single. No, yeah, this blue is much softer, much more palatable mm-hmm. than the yellow. Yeah. Um they kept the shine on their face from the lights, which are pretty harsh, as you can see from the shadow on the back. Yeah, yeah. So Especially that's pretty interesting. Know, look, at, look at uh the, the larger version, like like Nibu here, you can see some uh some hot spots on her cheek. Mm-hmm. Why why are uh third gen's pictures lower quality? Or is it just my computer? <laughs> it might just be your computer, Mr. Box. Okay, cool. No, actually, actually. No, yeah, it looks fine when you click on the actual. I zoomed in and then I saw that the third gens were lower quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you if you click on the actual profile and go to the profile, it looks fine. I don't I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they just uh scrubbed the wrong file for this or something. Mm-hmm. They uploaded the PNGs um, instead of the web peas. <laughs> Yeah, I have mixed mixed feelings. I think generally direction wise, I like these. Uh, for the most part, yeah. I think they all look very good. Colors I think all nice. the members look very nice. But uh, look like some some of the photoshopping is a little Close bit heavy handed, right? If you go to like Tamaki, for example, uh, Mikuni, look at her hers. All right, it's like damn, her face is fucking smooth, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, no, yeah, like well, hers is pretty noticeable. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's really my Moon's only complaint. Has a little bit shiny on one side. Mm-hmm. So the sushi. Some of them are, yeah. Some of them are good. Some of them are a little flat. But I think it's good. The lighting should be helping out, not making it look as flat. But mm-hmm. it might be a little distracting, seeing that yeah. there's a big strong light source with a fill light in the front. Or fill light. Where's the fill light coming from? From above? No. Anyway. <laughs> oh, they're probably doing yeah. that big soft light with the hard light in the middle. Yeah, because they definitely still have that like shadow right here. So it's not from. Yeah. And if you see the shadow on the back, it goes hard. It goes uh, mm-hmm. darker to lighter. So they're probably yeah. doing that. But uh, I, I think I think my only the only thing I would change, obviously, tone down some of this. Uh, Post processing on their faces, but that's always um, a well, that's always going to be a thing. Maybe, maybe uh-huh. just some, just a slight bit more saturation in the background blue, just to separate okay them a little bit. I'm yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I don't hate it, but it's just it's uh, you know, especially if you kind of like look at this very softly with the uh, the third gen or sorry, the fourth gen members, their their uniform is a little bit cooler in tone than the uh, senpai members. 
And so mm, they kind of blend it blends into in a the little. Background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying that's what I'm saying. I can just, see that. I can see that. Just a hair bit more saturation, I think, would help them uh, pop a little bit from the the background. The uh, yeah. yeah, the senpai members, I think, look fine compared to the background. Maybe me pan looks a little lost in there, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, when I take pictures like on the background, I hate the shadow in the background. But when other people do, I'm like, okay, looks pretty cool. <laughs> That's just like a mm. me thing, though. <laughs> yeah, because like, every time, uh, yeah. Just... <sighs> yeah, yeah, I get like that with like uh, art too, like uh, drawings. I do, you know, it's like, oh, if I see like, a stray line, I'm like, oh, this looks terrible. This is stupid. Then somebody else does. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm trying to pull up all the uh, profile pictures right now between the three groups. I wanna, I wanna see oh, what no. my ranking You're... would be, dude. No, What's you already know Nogizaka's right gonna be third. You already know it's so between Sakura Zaka and Hinata Zaka. You already know that. What do you mean, dude? Look at these. <laughs> look at these passport it's pictures, bro. I don't have to look at them. I don't have to look at them. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think my ranking like right they, now. I feel like they go with the same person, and they're like, "This is just the guy that takes the pictures," and they haven't learned from the mistake. Yeah, I, the, uh, my ranking is definitely Hinata Zaka, top, then Sakura Zaka, and then Nogi last. Nogi Zaka fourth. There's no third. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know, man. Something... I remember Sakura Zakas were a little more post-processed than usual right for these recent ones yeah it's a little bit very it's a little bit more post processy and then also the uh i don't know something about the lighting in this is like really kind of off-putting to me now that i'm looking uh, at the skin tone was to a little the, too pink right yeah yeah compared to uh yeah especially if you go back and forth between the hinata zaka ones and the sakura zaka ones yeah. it's like they, but, they try to even out their skin tone mm -hmm. yeah Definitely good. Some some nice photos from uh, Sakura Zaka uh, from Hinata Zaka, forty six dude. Um, you know what we forgot to do, Jimmy? We forgot mm. to pick a best cover and a best profile picture. Oh, okay. I guess we can do that, dude. Uh huh. You want to do since we're already talking about it? You want to talk about our uh, favorite uh, profile picture? Yeah. Let's do it. Hold on, let me. Uh, let me. Let me. You get the dock ready. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, not including, not including any of our Oshimen, of course. So no Osushi for me, and uh, no Kumi for you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would pick that one. <laughs> Kumi's is nice. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I didn't. Hmm. All right, I think I think I have mine. Who who who's yours, Mister Box? We'll start with yours. Um, I'm gonna go just based on first looks, like just looking through real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Sumita. Oh. Um, I, I you know, at first I was like surprised because like, oh, you did you remember her name? But I was like, of course, no, it has her name up below. That's only of course name. it's written down. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, it's nice. I not Otherwise, too far off. Right, the one right before hers was my pick. Uh, I think Kahorin looks. Mm. Uh, I think I'm just not a fan of like nice. cutting off the fingers. Mm. A lot of these are cutting off the fingers. You know, actually, I think I might have to change my mind, dude. <laughs> oh no! I see the idea. <laughs> no, when, when it was zoomed out like this, I was like, I think she's she looks very much like herself, and that's that's what I want from these. You know what I mean? And then I click mm -hmm. on it, and I'm like, hmm, now I don't know. She looks actually kind of weird here a little bit, zoomed in. It's like something about that, like something about her face. Just like the more I look at it, the less it looks like her, dude. Hmm. Actually, it's can fine. I change mine? Okay, I'll, I'll pick Nubu. I'll pick Nibu. Okay, going going to go. uh, second gen. I can see your hands. Oh, he he went back and just looked at all the hands while I was saying <laughs> that, dude. That's that's what he did. He just. I was like, oh, right. Kyung's hands are showing. <laughs> all right, Yoshikage Kira. So I, just those. 
Um, am I gonna pick me pen for the hand now, dude? <laughs> no, no. Mm, mm. I would pick Matsuda's, but I feel like her face is photoshopped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Susie looks kind of. I think I like Susie's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Susie looks nice. I'll go with that. The... Susie. I'll pick Susie. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Good and then, of course, we got to pick our favorite uh, jackets. I, I have yeah. mine. I already have mine. I have one that's super close, but... Um... Okay, I'll still go for it. Uh, All right. You want to say on the same time? Sure. <laughs> on go. Three, two, one, go. B. D. Oh. Are you? That delay was huge, but I think it's just your internet, so it's fine. You didn't cheat. All right. <laughs> D, huh? The beach I like D. one. I, the vibe is good. It is a nice vibe. It's like it's like blue greenish. Like you can tell, it's like a little bit cool, but they kept kept the the yellows and the oranges up. Mm-hmm. You can even yeah, see see from get... the sand. It's like a little bit green, so like they have some of that that tint in there to like match the vibe overall. So post processing is good on it. Everyone's smiling, having fun. I wish is a Matsuda. I wish Matsuda's hand uh, was in there, but mm-hmm. I think even with that, I think this is just good energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, for, I gotta say these are very high resolution, dude. I zoomed in like crazy, and it's they are. Clear. <laughs> they yeah. took a long time to load on my on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I you know my only complaint with Type B. Is the cropping on Osushi's heads a little too tight? I was thinking the same uh, thing. Yeah, I would like a little bit more headroom, but uh, I think she the looks amazing. I think Side I light. think Kosaka now looks amazing. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I love the highlight on her hair right there, dude. Yeah. You know, it really kind of makes nice her fill pop. going into the face. Um, look how round the bokeh is, dude. How soft uh-huh. and creamy that is, but it's not too much, uh-huh. right? Like, you still I think, good I think what's going on. Yeah, type type A is obviously. I think I think it's the camera nerd's favorite. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I was looking at this. Uh, I was like, probably like a one hundred five sigma, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is that shit is poo. But this one, mm-hmm. you know, you still got some detail. Obviously, you can see tree branch and the the separation of the mm-hmm. leaves. But you can see how, you know, how the light reflecting off of each leaf is all round. It really kind of you know, it kind of mm-hmm. gives it a very romantic feel to it, dude. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I love the the contrast in the colors between. The blues of their outfits with the greens in the background. You can dude, see the person you know? holding the reflector in Kosaka's eyes. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, and, and, and you know, just the 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 honest truth, the simp's answer. They both look very pretty. They look they super. You can't pretty. argue that. You can't yeah. argue that. Um, yeah, I don't know. This this is this is this is this is one. I uh, you know I, I would I would easily have a poster of a. Uh, yeah, I can see cover. this one. Like, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I I, I want to say with now if we're picking our, our worst one, <laughs> I want to okay. say C looks a little too posy. Like C almost looks like th- they're with their friends and then and then they ask someone, "Oh, hey, can you take a picture of us?" And then this is the picture they took, and then Nee was just wild and out here sitting down. Yeah, I think my 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 only issue with uh, C, I think C is nice if it was like a photo book picture. Um, I think the lighting mm-hmm. here is very like obviously it's, it's like natural light, right? Um, yeah, I, I I think so, but it's just because you know with the uh, especially look at Katoshi's face, how fucking oh, she's blown squinting. out. Yeah, well she's squinting, and then just how you know uh, how hot this the the left of her face is, you know. Same with yeah, Nibu. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but she know, got that yeah. Rembrandt lighting though. Look at that triangle. True, look at that triangle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look at that triangle, me pen. No, uh, um, yeah, I think it's a little bit much, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, I think cool. it was like, yeah, like if it was a photo book, I would really like this because you know, it, yeah, 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 that's the vibe you want. You want it to, yeah. to feel like you're out, you know. But I think for yeah, this a one and the next cover, to it, I expect a different picture to accompany it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Um, I don't. Uh, I don't think I really. I think maybe yeah. I guess I would have to say Type C, but I don't really dislike it either, though. I just you know, like I, I said, I think it'd be Kubi's better. Looking for... at the camera, <laughs> the regular edition one. Oh, Kumi! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Get... <laughs> go, go talk to your girl, dude. She's supposed to be a professional. Yeah. I expect more from her. Can't be looking at the camera. I, I know he's yelling at you in the directions. And you're being nice <laughs> by looking at the person who's talking to you. I mean, I she guess you could say Yamashita is too. You know, she's just kind of squinting though. She's smiling yeah. with her eyes, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I guess, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really have a... I don't really... Yeah, I don't really have a, a one I dislike though, which is nice. I think these are all really good. No, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like when I say I don't like that one, it's just like being a picky. But I feel like overall these are all solid. Yeah, um, really nice jacket covers from Hinata Zaka Forty Six. Uh, now I'm just hoping for a, a really nice A side track. Please, True. please, if one of the Sakamichi groups can just put out a good A side, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We're just waiting. Mm. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. That's going to be our updates for 11th single. A lot. Of, we actually talked about a lot, dude. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was a lot. Not the Zaka really came through. Um, uh-huh. We uh, we still got one last bit of Hinata Zaka 46 news that was uh, announced while we we're on our little break. Um, we got some new goods. Got some new goods. Uh, God, my internet's okay. acting like it's uh, Mr. Box's internet for, for some reason, dude. Uh, I still I, I, I'm supposed to have one gigabyte up and down. What is this? Um, anyways, we got some uh, uh, Hina Tansai goods, dude. You know, we got, and then uh, as well as, of course, uh, included with that, we have the Saito Kyoko uh, memorial or graduation. <laughs> memorial <well>. in memorium. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, we got the uh, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the baseball uh, shirt. Got some varsity jackets, dude. Uh, oh yeah. Or sorry, I don't know what you call these members jackets. Members, I don't know. Um, what is it? Uh, of course, we got the the member towels, the Acusta, dude. The uh, was it acrylic key holders? Really though. It's about these new era caps, though. Oh, let me see the caps. Hey, uh, someone, a uh, person in the the chat. Oh. You're 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 going to Hina Tansai, right? What's uh, what's what? What are, what are my chances at getting one of these? Actually, the, uh, yeah. I really, I really want. I really like the beige one. I think the beige one looks. Yeah, really, same, uh, same. Or the cream colored one looks really nice, dude. Uh, the black one obviously is nice too. I like how simple the logo is, but like, uh, it, but that beige on beige, it's a little, it's a little too contrasty for me, dude. Mm-hmm. No, that beige on beige is where it's at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, all right. Well, if you if you get anything else from this, uh, let me know. Let me know. Um, we got some other goods here. We got uh, the, uh, of course, the lights, the 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 totes. Uh, you know, there's yeah, a lot the, of like the tissue case. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, they, the they, they... The <laughs> yeah, dude. I kind <laughs> low key. I kind of want it, dude. It's kind of cute, right? Because because you just like stand it up and then just like spits it out of his mouth. So <laughs> it's pretty mm-hmm. convenient. I actually, I actually kind of want one. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, what would you rather have? <sighs> This just just on your desk, or a cute little polka, cute little polka. Just every time you got to blow your nose, dude. Just bleh, you know. Every time you got to blow your nose, yeah. What are you insinuating? What are you? What, what are your? What are you implying bag? here, Mister Box? Look at this tote bag. All right, then we got, of course, plastic. the the Saito Kyoko <laughs> goods. All right, you know, I I kind of want to look at the actual goods page. Uh, hopefully, it loads this time. Let me give me. Give me a second. I went. I, I defaulted to this because it just wasn't loading for me. Uh, they're goods, but I want to see the Saito Kyoko goods a little bit more up close. They have some really cute, cool and cute implica- uh, illustrations 
Um, oh yeah. If this page would just load, oh my god, what? It, look, look, this is How's this is what I'm dealing with. Yours? This is yeah, this is what I'm dealing with right now, dude. This is crazy. I I have fiber. I have AT and T fiber. I don't deserve this, dude. <laughs> I don't deserve this. All right, here we well, go. Why is this picture of this of this pen case, whatever it is, so bright? I can't even see the logo. I have to like go in and see it. I I really like uh, with the Kyoko goods. You know, we're gonna call back to the the ramen daisuke Saito Kyoko days, dude. Look at this. Oh, uh, I see. Look at this bowl. The bowl and the soup spoon, dude. Yo. As soon as it'll load, any day now. There we go. Um, That's cute. Yeah, high key. I actually kind of want this, dude. Oh, it says oh, Gochi so Sama at the bottom when you finish eating so it. Dude. Okay, yeah, okay, dude. okay. It's cute. The the illustration is really cute, dude. Uh, mm -hmm. I would easily use that, dude. Uh, I'm a Shin Ramyun guy, you know. Um, mm. You know, finish my my bowl of Shin Ramyun and then just oh, thank you, Saito Kyoko. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got this like little mascot character that she made. It's got like, like a little slippers too. Um, oh yeah. Well, I like the the cup. <laughs> Do you see that little cup uh, cup cover for for your cup noodles? Oh, this one. You put it on top. Mm -hmm. It has her like eating it. I like that. Yeah. Cute. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, it has a little little stand for your. Uh, your chopsticks, dude. For 1800 That's like 10 bucks. I'd get that. Dude, yeah, I get it, dude. And then uh oh, what I really wanted Whoa. to see was uh this this long T, dude. Uh the design looks really pretty. I, I just can't mm -hmm. tell from now because it won't load finally. Yeah, dude. I think like shout out one. shout out to the artist, dude. I really like this uh this artwork. Yeah, that's super pretty, dude. I feel like uh, I've seen some similar to this. Has uh, chat? If you guys know, has uh, has this person done grad goods for somebody else before? Um, I know she worked with a few different artists, um, so I don't know who did what. Like, uh, like this keychain, for example, is another that. artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or you know, you get the sticker set, dude. And uh, what uh, what uh, let's 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 go back to uh, the overall Hina Tansai goods, um, mm -hmm. and then uh, what are what are your must cops, Mister Box? Your must cops that hat, that hat, of course, the hat stop. and the the tissue case. Those are my two. Oh, damn! I think you, I think you picked mine too, dude. But uh, let me let me try to pick something else, dude. Um, let me, let me, let me pull these up though. Of course it's the beige. Of course it's the beige. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we got Kahor in here modeling the, uh, that, oh, oh no, it's a, it's like a dad cap. It's not like a, it's not like a snapback. Oh, hell yeah, dude. No, no, no. I hella wear hats like this. Right? Yeah. Um, all right, where's where's the tissue case? The hoodie's all right, the gray one. Oh, god, I have to scroll through all these. And the regular t shirt isn't bad, like, like that's good. Like, like if I went oh, to the concert, I'd buy it for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's you know, it's one that I could easily rock, you know what I mean? Um. Sometimes yeah, compared uh, to some other stuff, <laughs> sometimes yeah, the design. Yeah. Hinata Zaka, especially, right? Sometimes they go a little bit more cutesy in their design, and I'm like, I'm not sure how comfortable I'd feel wearing this. But uh, yeah, this shirt looks very vintagey. You know, I like the vibes. Um, you got like the record player, you know, or like the the vinyl record. Sorry, not the record player, but the vinyl record with the uh, Hinata Tansai, uh, or Hinata. All right. Um, Kind of like the uh, varsity font or whatever. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's cool. The baseball shirt's cool too. Uh, I just wish they actually fit me like this. If they fit me like this, dude. <laughs> Look at this man in chat. I I bring him stuff from Japan. Can't even can't even slide in a hat. Yo, is this a, is embroidered? Is it? The uh the the baseball jersey, dude. It's not just print. Whoa. The, the Hina the Hina Tan part is actually embroidered, dude. Oh. That's kind of sexy, really. dude. What really sizes hurt. do you have? <laughs> no, it just comes in XL, dude. That shit's way too small for oh, me. It's oversized, no? I don't I don't I still don't believe it, dude. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think it's oversized. I see Pario on the L, and I'm like, that yeah. seems like... If Pario, Pario is wearing an L, no shot I'm fitting that, dude. <laughs> Just wear it Where? open. <laughs> oh, there it is. I didn't, I didn't recognize the polka the size um, tissue box without the tissues in his mouth, dude. He's so cute, dude. Man. <laughs> okay, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, very nice set of goods. How much is that? Ooh, okay. I really like uh, Konishi's and and Mari's. Uh, oh, all the all the the towels. I just realized this. These these are uh, their nicknames. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. I thought it was like uh, I I, know, I just assumed it was just normal fan towels. I didn't really pay attention to it. But uh, that's cute, dude. Look at like like. like Konishi's oh, so just tensai. got that <laughs> five two four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mari's dude, Tensai. Uh huh. Mm hmm. These are you can cute, just get that, dude. and not and no one will know you're a you're a water. You know they'll be like a filthy little. They just water, think you're dude. egotistical. <laughs> I'm fucking Tensai, dude. These are so cute. Wow. Uh -huh. Great, great set of goods from uh, Himata Zaka, dude. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. oh, did you see the little uh, acrylic things of them? The little keychains? It goes to like the third page. Uh, I did. Let me go back to that. Was there anything you wanted to highlight from that, dude? Just whoever is into this will enjoy it. <laughs> into what, Mr. Box? Into these costumes that they're wearing. Mm-hmm. What costumes, Mr. Box? Like rabbits. What is that, a dog? A cat? This man's a furry. I can't believe it. <clears throat> I'm just looking um, out for a sec, okay? <laughs> anyways, great, great set of goods. Uh, I, I, I think these are some of my favorite goods between this and the like the Hina Tansai goods and the uh, Saito Kyoko uh grad goods i think these are some of my favorite hinata zaka goods i i've seen for a while dude um yeah you know the hat's hot dude the uh the um, mm -hmm. the, the fact that the jersey is embroidered is fucking dope yeah. dude right mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. stuff out here um but yep that is going to be it for hinata zaka so uh we're gonna move on to uh sakura zaka 46 uh, first, you know, I I've been trying to uh, keep to the uh, the you know we only talk about active members, right? It's it's this is a podcast not to uh, to focus on the Sakamichi series group, but we start talking about grad news. It's going to be too much. It's going to be way too much. Um, that being said, though. I got. I, I couldn't resist. We got the new single from Habu Mizuho, dude. I put the news together. This is this is how I treat myself. All right, I I, I put the the doc together. Where is boy? Uh, We've I, fallen. I have <laughs> I have the power. I have the power. Um. So if you check out the Ace Crew label or Twitter or rather her uh, what is it? Her staff Twitter. Uh, you'll find the link there to reboot her first. Single Habu Mizuho single, dude. Uh, and then uh, all of the various streaming links. Um, if you've been following her on her uh, social media as well as her fan club, you'll know that she went to Guam 
to shoot the music video for this. So hopefully we get that soon. But yeah, dude, uh, just wanted to give her a quick plug. Um, I know she doesn't need it, but just in case anybody who watches this uh, hasn't already checked it out, give it a listen. You can listen to it internationally. I uh, had, a, had a sick, nasty little, uh, little gym session today while uh, listening to uh, Reboot. I listened to this. Uh, you played the song yesterday for your stream. Mm -hmm. What did um, you think? Gave me, uh, gave me Lily Cohen Why'd vibes. Why'd you cross this out of the dock, Mr. Box? <laughs> gave me Lily Cohen vibes, and I like Lily Cohen, so I enjoyed the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very... Uh, what's the word? Um, it, it makes me think of any like anime idol, right? It's very kind of uh, that uh, electronic whimsy kind of shit. I don't know. I feel like uh, anime idol is a little more more cheerful. Yeah. True. More Maybe like, okay, not not anime idol, but uh like Akihabara idol, I guess you could say. I still think it look very Genki. Okay. I don't know. I maybe I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I liked it. That's that's a <laughs> uh, um so uh yeah I just want to give a shout out. But speaking of Habu Mizuho um obviously you know uh I, I very unfortunately should not have shared that bit of news, but I'm biased. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll never not admit it. But uh, the reason why is because she graduated from the group back in November of last year. Um, and if you didn't get to uh, watch that, obviously the only way you could have was either being there in person or by buying the live stream. Then, mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey. Now's your chance because they just announced the Blu-ray. Uh, I'm going to be oh. honest. This is going to be a must cop for me. Uh, I thought that, you know, ba even just based on the, the live stream, uh, it was a very sick show. Very good show. Obviously, Habu grad. So I'm going to definitely pick up day one. But I'm on honestly considering picking up day two as well. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to rewatching some of these performances. One, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching some of these performances again with uh, some better quality, you know. Um, it was just a really good show. I think uh, it's just a very solid set list. Um, so you can you, you can go to the uh, the link on the website. And they'll show you the, the full set list from uh, both days, right? Um, look, at, look at that. We got some bangers out here, dude. Naze Koi, Utsukushiki, Nervous, Drone Senkai Chu. Uh, Joken Hansa de Nakete Kuru, uh, you know, Shonen Yoku, of course, as well as the Habu Mizuho grad. We had the uh, uh, go 302 Goshitsu. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I, I know how, right? Like, it's but like, no. in my head, I never read it as that, you know. I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's the 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Song. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. Time Machine Day, yeah, dude, Boku Tachi no La Vie and Rose performed live. Poggies, dude. Uh, day two is no songs. slouch, yeah, yeah. no slouch either, dude. We got what plastic regret, dude. Ooh, Combinato, dude. Woo, Ishu no Uma, sheesh. Um, yeah, um, a lot of really good ones. The encore for this is pretty sick as well with Boku no Diremba. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm honestly considering getting both days. Uh, I have, I have since, oops, I have since watched both days and, uh, I thought they were both very excellent. Um, so, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm sure, you know, eventually we'll start getting some, some trailers and stuff like that to share about the, uh, third anniversary, uh, blue race, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we we've already gotten some uh, some promotions and stuff like that. Um, like uh, what is it? The uh, where's 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 my link for it? What the? Yeah, there we go. Uh, the uh, the Lopi. Uh, collab in HMV, dude. You get the, the the cool little acrylic picture frame, dude, from Third Every. So look, look at fucking uh, how cool they look in their the, the the fucking detective outfits, dude. 
I'm waiting for it to load. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, chat. I guess we got the uh, the, bl- the the trailer already for. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Girl, yeah, they posted it on their their Twitter. Oh, let me. You know, oh, look at all these iconic moments, dude. Good oh, stuff, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it looks looks very cool. I mean, I think the biggest thing is that uh, you know when you watch this on the live stream, of course, the live stream uh, looks a lot better than live streams used to. If anything, you know, like live mm-hmm, streams mm-hmm. look uh, they look like how DVDs used to just come out, right? Uh, if you if you've been an Idol fan long enough and you watch some of these uh, AKB. Uh, DVDs of uh, of like I don't know Saitama Super Arena and shit, you know. Um, that's pretty much what the live stream quality is like. But then when you watch it, the Blu-ray, you're like, ooh, that quality upgrade, <laughs> right? So uh, I, I was definitely thinking the the whole time when I was watching the uh, the show, I was like, I can't wait to see this uh, on Blu-ray, dude. Um, oh yeah, you definitely tell the difference because yeah. that Blu-ray. That, that, that being like said, megabyte though, per second. <laughs> Yeah. That being said, though, get ready because uh, uh, these these are not cheap, dude. Uh, oh. The Blu-ray is uh, what is it? The wait, uh, wait. Hold on. Uh, yeah. So I guess if you buy both of it, both uh, both days, it's a hundred. Or eight one little. I was gonna say one hundred eighty dollars. It's eighteen thousand yen, which I think is like one hundred and forty ish. Forty, like yeah, that, dude. Something like that. Um, or if you buy individual days, um, right day the uh, day one would be oh one twenty. Oh, okay. I'm getting both days. Yeah, easy, easy. <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> 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 I was gonna say because yeah, if you get one day, then that's seventy two hundred, right? Which uh, I think is uh, what, what, fifty what, bucks. What, fifty bucks, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm getting uh, easy. I'm getting two days, dude. I'm getting both days, bro. I'm getting mm-hmm. the, the fucking mm-hmm. deluxe or whatever the fuck that version that is, dude. Um, oh yeah, and that usually getting... looks the best anyway. Yeah, and if you're you know if you're gonna get the uh, the DVD, it's gonna be what, fourteen thousand yen for uh, the the deluxe version, I guess you would call it, and then the uh, what is it, individual days would be uh, fifty two hundred yen each, so like a little bit over thirty bucks, dude. Yeah, but who gets DVDs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, you think I want to watch? I already watched the live stream. You think I want that quality? Yeah, I already watched the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> I already got. I already, already watched the live stream, dude. I want. Let me see that crisp, crisp colors, dude. I want to see that that exactly. dynamic range, dude. I want to see that contrast. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. This this is definitely a must cop for me, dude. Uh, obviously, Habu. But like I said, uh, just in general, I think this was a uh, one of my favorite Sakura Zaka live performances dude i think they really yeah, showed out here um that i i i remember you know i've been talking about wanting to go to japan for fourth anniversary live that literally came because of watching the third anniversary live i was like dude i need to be there live for this next year you know what i mean mm. so um yeah definitely looking forward to reliving uh some of these moments do uh via blu-ray that's for gonna sure. be it for the Sakura Zaka 46 news. Kind of light news week, but you know they're uh, they're doing their uh, their 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 fourth tour right now, dude. You know, um, I think we, I think we talked about it last time. You know, they're gonna you know they announced they're wrapping up with a uh, Tokyo Dome, dude. Um, so uh, it is you know it uh. Sorry, I saw chat and chat's bullying me right now. I'm just <laughs> uh, I'm distracted, but um, yeah, the uh, yeah, this is definitely a must cop for me. Um, 
anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was saying, yeah, they're going to be at the finishing up at Tokyo Dome. So uh, looking forward to yeah. hopefully some big announcement there or something, you know? I mean, they typically don't do announcements, right? Like concerts. I mean, not like AKB stuff, but, you know, there's usually yeah, yeah, something yeah. that happens. Yeah. 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 Something around there. Like yeah. probably after. Mm hmm. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for uh, the Sakura Zaka 46 news. Let's move on over to Nogi Zaka. We actually got a lot to talk about. Um, probably just as much as uh, we did with Hinata Zaka. I was kind of surprised that we had that much. <laughs> it was Hinata a long Zaka one to news. come back to. But um, yeah, we got a lot of Hinata Zaka news. So, uh, or sorry, Nogi Zaka news. So I'm going to try to give it to you guys in the order that we that it came out. All right. So some stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, might address itself all right but basically we had a bunch of 35th single updates within the past two weeks uh first thing like we were kind of uh tiptoeing around earlier is the uh postponement of 35th single from march 27th to april 10th uh that was announced at the beginning of the month uh the beginning of the month um unfortunately they you know they didn't really give as much details but it's listed as mainly due to production reasons uh what those productions reasons are it could be anything um so yeah. for the people who are you know just ready it's like oh next next week dude it's gonna be in my hands you're going to have to wait another two weeks i'm Mm -hmm. Sorry to say they're just waiting for me to be gone. So That's true, so true. Zaka. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, dude. I honestly, they just wanted to fuck over Hinata Zaka, dude. They're, I'm, I'm, I'm fanning some flame wars, dude. Uh, oh, you said the push made Hinata Zaka push. I, I think so. I mean, that's most likely what it is. <laughs> that's yeah, really what April it is. 10th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They push it uh -huh. to April 10th and they're like, oh shit, dude, you know, uh, fucking, you can't release a, a, a you know, at the, on the same date, they'll be competing with sales. They'll, they'll be competing with charts. Our fans that much. Like that. Yeah. Um, they got to wait for the next yeah. paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so they push back two months. And I think that's the biggest reason why Hinata Zaka's got pushed back an entire month. It's just oh, to yeah. distance itself from uh, this release, but or I could be wrong. I'm assuming a lot. You know, maybe maybe they just both got hit by production stuff, and Hinata Zaka's was just worse. I don't know. Or maybe the mastering, like they use the same mastering studio, and the studio wasn't. It was on a holiday or something. I don't know. It caught on fire. They lost everything, dude. Uh, I was I was who, thinking about saying that, but I wasn't gonna go there. <laughs> um, who who knows, dude? But um. Yeah, very, very unfortunate. Um, you know, you, you really kind of hate to see these kinds of hiccups, but it is, you know, it happens. It happens, especially, you know, what we're 35 yeah, yeah. singles in. It was bound to happen, right? Uh, happen, yeah. Next bit of news for 35th single news. Um, we got the title. The title was announced. Chansua Byodo. Or chances, Byodo. you know, chances fair, equal, equivalent. All right. Um, do you believe that, Josh? Is do you it? think everyone has a fair chance in the world? I think people have leg ups, but I think I everyone think so, can. I, I I think everyone can do something. <laughs> I think opportunity comes to those who, uh, you know, you you, you have to be you you have to be in a position to, uh, you know, it's fair in that. Nobody opportunity doesn't force itself upon you. You have to yeah, make the yeah, best yeah. of what you opportunities you get. Mm -hmm. That being said, some people just got more opportunities than others. I think that's, that's it yeah. is. It is you gotta set yourself up for chance. But yeah, some people yeah. are already set up. <laughs> exactly. Um but uh yeah, on top of the title, we also got the jacket and uh artist image for this hey dude with so much uh so much photography talk on this this week's episode i know everybody loves it um hey, yeah everybody. so we got the let's artist let's image podcast. uh you know it's mizuki standing on the train dude look at all these hey, members, polar dude. express over here yeah fucking polar express dude and, and the then uh, we got the we got the jacket covers themselves which is a uh, you know kind of uh, similar to these, right? Obviously, uh, it looks like they just kind of cut these, but they are different photos, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, 
I uh, you know kind of kind of the same right the same idea. They're all being framed by the Nogizaka Forty Six train. Um, they're sitting in the booth. Uh, different things are are happening in each booth. You know, uh, Kaki's doing a magic trick, dude. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I pick a card, any card. She's like, I don't know about that one. And you know, Kaki's like, ah, ah got him. Uh, Endo could not fish. care less, dude. And then uh, you know, Sakura is. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm, busy I don't looking know. at her jewelry or yeah. something. Um, you know, he, he, you know, he, this is the type D has got the card I want to be in, dude. You know, we got oh, some true. food, we got some drinks, dude. We chilling, dude. I'm like, yeah, dude. Let me let me kick it in here, dude. Got one of my kids right. in there, dude. Got some fun people in there, yeah. Mm hmm. And then, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, the regular edition is uh, is cute. Um, I don't know. I, not 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 much by means of difference, right? They're all kind of the same idea. Where are they obviously, looking? except with the <laughs> exception? <laughs> You know, there's something happening, dude. There, uh, there's something going on outside, dude. You know, what, you know what they're looking yes, at. Some of them <laughs> have noticed. The wrong way. Some of them has noticed. Uh, the conductor Yamashita Mizuki is no longer in the train. Um, oh, mm -hmm. there we go. <laughs> they look a little oh. too happy for that. <laughs> yeah, because she's, you know, she, this is her chance, no biodo, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. This is her chance, dude. This is her <laughs> chance. Uh, Everyone has an equal opportunity here. They can all crash because the yeah, conductor's uh, better. I, I gotta say, I think Mizuki is my favorite. Uh, sorry, the Taipei oh, yeah, is my favorite. Down, yeah. um, Just because like, everything it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, the train is departing. She has gotten off. It's time. You know, the Nogizaka journey is going to continue in one direction, and it's time for the Yamashita Mizuki journey to continue in another direction right yeah. um they could have chilled on the black mist filter though <laughs> uh i like well, it i i think it's very oh, nostalgic uh e you know i think it's trying to go for that romantic vibe i uh, and, and mm -hmm. very dreamy mm -hmm. i my biggest thing is maybe just chill out on on, on the highlights in the the room behind her a little bit it's a mm, little bit bright true. a little bit too distracting yeah. um i like that it's kind of like environmental lighting on uh mizuki you know mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. some some storytelling oh, yeah, sure. there but uh yeah i think i think they could tone tone it down just a little bit um so yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. not include type a because i think that's going to be the obvious choice yeah that's the people. obvious one yeah um you, do you have a favorite pick mr box i mean how is it not type d <laughs> yeah it's gotta be type d I don't know. Type D is the card I want to be in. Like I said, there's not much else going on by means of difference. So I just got to like, you know, I like the uh, how full the table is, dude. It looks like this this room mm -hmm. is a good time, dude. And plus we have Duck. Yeah. You know? it, look like, it looks like Ichinose just came over. We're like, oh, there's a party going on in here. I'll join. <laughs> Ichinose <laughs> looks like she was originally in like one of these other rooms. You know, she was uh -huh. supposed to be in type B. And then she's like, uh, y'all are boring. She left. I was like, oh, <laughs> hey, what's going on over cards? here, guys? <laughs> You're beginning yeah. lit over here. I'm going over here. <laughs> um, trying to find things to talk about. I think everyone looks really nice in uh, these covers. I think I think the styling was spot on. I think the makeup was the spot on. Yeah. Uh, the lighting is very uh, moody and soft and romantic. Um, whimsical, some might say. I can be a little warmer, but that's just me. it. Could yeah, no, I I could see that, but I it, I think you know it definitely has like a cold winter night, but like it's warm inside there vibes, right? Yeah, maybe if they added like a backlight coming from like the fake moon, the fake window outside, mm. then, like, that would help contrast a little bit with the colors. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have much to complain about. I think some of the some of these can be a little bit more interesting. Uh, is probably my only complaint. Like I think Type B, that room looks boring <laughs> as hell, dude. Especially when you what compare you it to Type D, when you see like all yeah. this, the scene setting, like everything's placed. Mm -hmm. and, like, they're all holding something. They're all doing something. I mean, sure, the other ones you can say they're doing something, but like if you look at Type B, it's like Yoda has a camera. I mean, That's just, it. Look, if you just looked only at the table, type D is automatically the most interesting, right? Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, and if you're wondering why, put our bags why the, 
Mm-hmm. And if you're wondering why the table is important, it's because the table is the scenery, right? Because everything else is yeah. the same. Um, because you're in same. a you're in a train. You're in a train. What else can you really do? So uh, the the storytelling is on the table, right? If you think about it, um, who's out here bringing full <laughs> silverware cups? <laughs> It's just and all these food. No, these the are one of the old bougie trains with a with sir with with dine in service, dude. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I'm imagining Yumiki just like bringing a whole bag full of this. <laughs> this is this is the kind of train that murder mysteries take place in, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Each uh, one of these represent like a, a thing they could have killed someone with. You know, one uh, is a book. The other one's the chessboard. The other ones no, see, poison look. is wine. Kazuki's got a menu. I don't know. It's probably a map, but it's a menu, dude. She's she's about to order dinner. Like the she's like, dude, t- Type D's got it going on, dude. This table, we gotta get some food and drinks. Going Yo, Type on, D got dude. the serving first. What happened? <laughs> Everyone yeah. else is still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, these these are nice. I, I don't. I really don't have much to complain about. I I, I like these, but uh, I like we said. I think I think the music you want. Whenever I scroll back all the way, I look at the music you want. I'm like, whoo, sheesh. It's nice. It's mm-hmm, pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it reminds me of a uh, their first album. How they're at the train station. This is just oh. like a different form of it. It kind of reminds me of the uh, what were the covers that we all really liked? That everyone was like, "Oh, it's like Vanity Fair." Actually, looking. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Sayonara no Imi. Was yeah, I think it was Sayonara. It gives me that vibe. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more color. Right, but like aesthetically, I think it kind of yeah. has that vibe. The, aesthetically, and, and like what they're wearing definitely matches the vibe. I mm-hmm. do like the lighting more in that one though compared to this one. Yeah, because I feel like that one's very like classical. Oh, mm-hmm. this one's trying to be like more romantic, like you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so these are the jackets and covers. The next up that we have for this is we have all of the tracks, the coupling tracks for this uh, oh. the single. Have been revealed as well as the uh um the accompanying members oh thank god there's a translated dude i i typed everything out in case that i wouldn't be able to read this later um so uh yeah we got the uh the ch- you know the the senbatsu song right chance uh, and then as well as uh the under members shadowgawa right roadside uh, the fifth gen mm. members' song um, is going to be Jane ga setsunai. Jane is so painful, right? Uh, <sighs> that's going to be the fifth gen track. And then we have the first unit track, Ato Nana Kyoku, um, after seven songs. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what was it? Endo Sakura, Ogawa Aya, Kakiharaka, Kawasaki Sakura, Hayashiruna, and Yumiki now. Uh, we have Boon Buku Chagama. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This word. Oh, dude. Uh, that's like a, it's when a, a, a tanuki turns into like, like fucking, uh, like a teapot. Uh-huh. Uh, and so that it's has, an interesting duck- word. yeah, it has Duck Lord in it. It has Ichinose Miku, it has Tamura Mayu, Tsutsui Ayame, and Tomi Sato now. You know, uh, some words just can't be translated. Just like when the Japanese are concept called Hiro Gohan. Oh, but it's different than lunch, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I've I've been practicing uh, the uh, Japanese uh, way of shinitai. That's where I want to die. <laughs> Anyways, um, what is it? We have uh, uh, Salvia no Hana o Oboite Ryuka, right? Um, do Do you rem- remember the uh, uh, the 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 Salvia the, the Salvia flower? <laughs> Not saliva. No, it's salvia. Salvi. <laughs> no, saliva. Uh, that's uh, that's Mau Mau and uh, Okuda Iruha. And then we have the Yamashita Mizuki solo track, Natsu Sakura in Summer Sakura. Um, what do you think, Mr. Box? Any of these speak to you? <laughs> the saliva. <laughs> Um, interested to hear. I feel like Yamash is gonna get a slow ballad for her, for her song. I just, I just feel it in my gut. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that Ato Nana Kyoku. 
Sounds interesting. It's an interesting lineup. Oh, I'm I'm all about that boom boku chalagama, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was uh, I was compiling the notes, and I was I when I was typing that shit out, I was I was saying that to myself like twenty times, dude. It's just a fun word to say. <laughs> boom, boom, chak, boom, boom, chak, come on. Almost like an um, Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, the idea, you know, the the song, the the it means like a you know when a uh, um when a tanuki right turns into mm-hmm. a fucking uh, teapot or some I, I guess just like any kind of a uh, Inanimate like object, pottery, or yeah, and then uh, yeah, Natsu. I think I don't know. I'm hope I'm I'm copium Natsu Zakra is gonna be a a, a fun song, dude. Just because you know Natsu, it's summer. Yeah, right? yeah. And then music, but I could be wrong. It could be like you know a, a sentimental summer vibe. Uh, who knows? But I'm. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, maybe because we got a a quote-unquote happier a-side track for her graduation single that uh you know her solo track they got like uh, we gotta appease all the sad boys what <laughs> a fucking boy somber ass song dude um apparently a lot of people were butthurt at the uh the song when uh they debuted it during uh their their tour you know was like oh this is the music oh, really? grad song dude no it's gonna be it's gonna be sad dude she's leaving why are you doing a oh. happy song? Uh, I was mad because I think this song sucks. <laughs> We're talking about the main song, the A side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you listened to it, yet, Mr. Box? I have not. All right. Uh, so you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to take uh, not quite a break, but we're going to go watch the PV and listen to the song real fast. And we'll be back with our thoughts. And we're back. What are, what are your thoughts, Mr. Box? Um, I can see what they were going for. But I don't think it was executed right. Like, they can definitely make a disco song that bumps. But this one is too monotone. It's, it's like very samey dude yeah very samey throughout the whole thing Mm -hmm. and it really feels like this na 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 well no wait we both right what's your recall it what does that mean na 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 dude okay so there's some form of catchiness if we can recall it uh, let me say this though. For anyone watching this, and you are a, an avid Nogi Zaka defender, and you hate hearing anyone talk shit about it, and I get it, there are people like that. I don't. I'm. I'm no judgment here. But if you're one of those people, I'm apologizing right now. I generally try to be positive about most idol releases. I generally try to be like, eh, it's not for me. I think this is a bad track. I'm going to say it. I think this is generally, genuinely a bad track. Um, I know there are people who disagree. So you want music is subjective. I get that. And so maybe calling it bad isn't the right word. But I think there's so many things that they could have done to make this better. Uh, Like, I think, yeah, I think it it drags. It feels very, uh, uh, what's the word? Lethargic. All right. I, I think I, I think I was messing around with it when I watched it on stream. Uh, 1.25 feels like a little bit too fast. Something maybe a little bit slower than that, like a 1.15 or something like. Like we just gotta pick up the tempo. All right. I went to 1.75. Uh, Some of those sections actually sound pretty good. At 1.75. <laughs> 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 because because yeah. in the original one it goes. Dun, 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 dun. But then in the fast one goes dun dun da 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 dun. It like definitely helps out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just dude, it, and I wouldn't mind it being like a slow groove kind of disco track, right? I get like 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 you were saying, I get what they're trying to do, but it feels so monotonous after you listen to the first chorus. Yeah, like I'm like, dude, I want to be done with this song already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
they definitely could have messed a little bit more with the tempo of the song throughout mix it up a little bit maybe do a couple breakdowns here and there before the chorus and make the chorus shine a little bit more mm. bring in that funk a little bit harder um, yeah the bass and the guitar mm -hmm. I, I feel like both of those could have like they had their moments you know but that was just constantly throughout i feel like there needs to be like some moments that really shine especially for a song that's funky like this the instruments gotta shine i mean i think the instruments were I mean, okay, I agree. I think they they could have done way more to like really beef it up, right? I think I think yeah. honestly, the instruments are the only thing holding this song mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. The vocal mm -hmm, melody mm -hmm. is just so boring, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, it's yeah. uh, they try to go for mall music with this one. <laughs> That's the vibe. Hmm. <laughs> it's this feels like one of those uh forgotten disco tracks and you're like oh i can see why this was forgotten you know what i mean yeah. um like this doesn't even feel like a b-side you know this feels mm -hmm. like i don't think it feels like a b-side because i think i uh, as much as i'm disparaging it i listen to the production and i i feel the effort you know uh -huh. the sounds are nice money went into this it's just the execution oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is really poor dude you know what I mean? yeah like it feels like if, if you look through like random cds i like a like goodwill you pick one up and you listen you're like okay i can see why this artist didn't become popular <laughs> mm. i i'm just so tired of this man i'm so tired of copiuming every nogi zaka a side dude you know like i i when i was talking about the pod uh, on the, the the top sakamichi songs of the year video about how i felt with sakura zaka i'm currently in this slump for mm. nogi zaka dude I'm gonna be. I, I have fond memories of Hitori Samba Tengoku, but I like it because of the memories with the boys. I, I it's it's a song yeah. I never go back to on my own. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, this song is even somehow worse than that. In that, this I think this is the first time ever I put up an, a a Nogi Zaka like a new music video from a Sakura Zaka or sorry a Sakamichi group, and I couldn't. I didn't even finish it. You know what I mean? I, I I like got halfway. Like I said, I got past the first chorus, and I was like, all right, all right, I I'm gonna do something else, dude. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I like went to go listen to Equal Loves Norote Norote, and then I was like, <laughs> all right, I should probably finish this PV. I should probably finish this PV. Yeah, um, and, and we're not saying that it's because it's disco. It's bad. We we've seen a lot of disco song, songs being done by AKB. There's other idol groups like Philosophy No Dance, who's dude. Halloween disco. Night bangs harder than yeah. this, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not that. It's just how it was done, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's just so my thing is normally I don't get as riled up about this because you know I get it, dude. This is what going to be one of three singles this year. We got two more, dude. Okay, this is a miss fine the next one will be better it's fine you know but or maybe the next one will appeal to me more is the better word i should i should use mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but this sucks because a like i said it's been for me been going on for a while it feels like um and b it's yamashita mizuki's last song or last a side you know or last center mm -hmm. last single at all and i yeah. really wanted to like this i wanted it to be uh either a really fun song or like a boku a boku ga ski ni naru and uh you know that the the fact that it betrayed my expectations that's my fault for having those expectations to begin with but but even, even if you didn't song, have expectations yeah exactly even without that it's just it's just not good the pv mm -hmm. is at most okay you know what i mean like there's just a stupid mm -hmm. lens flare overlay that they use the entire time <laughs> that we kept memeing about that it's just like it doesn't do anything for it um, uh -huh. The members look cute. I like the even the members. editor knew was this video was more boring. So they're like, how can we make the viewer keep their interest? In? Just add lens yeah. flares. Literally, the only redeeming factor to this PV is like the fact that the members look nice. But it's like, mm. okay, that's Nogizaka. You didn't really have to yeah. try there. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? That's default. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, uh, they just have to try hard to make them not look good. Yeah, I don't know. It's. It's frustrating because I'm frustrated because I really wanted to like this. I really wanted to have like a, a Nogi song that like really like, you know, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, may- maybe maybe it's the long con, dude. Maybe summer of this year, the new Nogi track will come out, and I'll be like, oh, here we go again. Let's see. Let's see. And I click on it, and I get fucking start over, you know? Um, but right now, it's rough. It's really rough. I'm I'm really counting on the beast. Yeah, because uh, that's really through. that's really only the only things I've been liking from Nogizaka personally. There are some that's tracks fair. that I like, but I think my favorite track from Nogizaka last year was the 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 Teresa Center fifth gen song, right? Um, fifth gen Nogizaka was like the only thing really keeping me together, and even then, I haven't been a big fan of their last two. Uh, uh, well, no, last one, I think. Uh, the Tomisato now one has grown on me. Um, it's definitely a ballad, not really what I wanted, but uh, it's it's nice. The Ogawa Aya one, I can't even remember what it sounds like. Yeah, I think there are two songs, no, like like three songs from Nogizaka that I liked compared mm-hmm. to my top ten last time, and two of them were B sides for Ohitori Sama Tengoku. And out out of all their singles that they released, it was only those. And I was like. Mm. Kind of low. Yeah. So what, what I'm trying to say is I really need Boon Buku Chagama to come through, dude. <laughs> Boon Buku Chagama. It has to bring that go. fun energy, you know, with a title Let's like that. Go. Come on. Come on. I need you. You're you're my fucking avatar, all right? You're the master <laughs> of all four elements, dude. Good melody, oh, fun yeah. PV, cute members, and a banging track, dude. Come on, dude. You know, um, got it's got to pull up. Uh, what did you... it has a lot of downvotes, dude. The Nogizaka A side that just came out. Oh yeah, twenty eight k up upvotes, twelve k downvotes. Sheesh, damn, that sucks, dude. That sucks. I feel so bad for Mizuki. She deserves. And guess who's adding it. two? <laughs> <laughs> two more right here. I mean, I can yeah, see why. I, I, think that shows, is... I think that shows. Yeah. I mean, I know people say like, "Oh, it's just idols." Like, no one cares about the music. But I mean, this is kind of showing. Like, there's already a lot of downloads on it. I mean, it's because here's what I don't. About the, it's just idols. We don't care about the music. Like, uh, if that was the case, you wouldn't have been watching this at all. You w- you wouldn't be listening to this at all. You would just be watching the variety shows. But the fact that we're still in here listening to the fucking track, they still release tracks, right? Means that like somebody's mm-hmm. got to care. And yeah, of course, I'll still continue to support the group. Obviously, I bought fucking. Uh, did I buy copies of this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 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 thank God, dude. But you know, way, it's just yeah, yeah. So I get it that, because yeah, yeah it, you know, a lot of times we're buying CDs before they even come out, right? But I don't know, man. I just it's really disappointing. To, mm-hmm. to not enjoy the music of the group, dude. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for one that has this much impact. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, it's like, dude, they, they've done good music, dude. They have good A-sides. Yeah, yeah, they have bobs. This, yes. Like, if, if this group was constantly flopping and like this was par for the course i yeah i I wouldn't be that mad i wouldn't be that disappointed you know i'd just be like oh well Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. group fucking sucks dude i'm just here because they're all hot and i like their variety show you know what i mean (laughs) but like you know we we, we've had good songs though we've we've had Mm -hmm. actuallys dude we had we've Mm -hmm. had boku a boku skinny narus dude we've had kaede michis and and Mm -hmm, nige mm -hmm. mizus and and influencers and you know, so forth. And of course, the goaded girls rule, dude. You know, mm-hmm. um, like we don't, like we could do better. We should be doing better. You know what I mean? Yeah. They set the standard kind of low. Maybe this is the production delays, you know? <laughs> they had a phone in the, the song. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I, I It doesn't feel like it's phoned in. You know what I mean? Maybe the PV. No, yeah, maybe the PV production. was. 
but like the the music. Uh, I don't think so. Not with the yeah. PP. There's there's too much setup. True. It's just boring. It's just a boring fucking music video, dude. For a boring ass fucking song. I'm sorry. I sound like such a Nogi Zaka anti, but I like I said, like I would not be disappointed like this if I was. You know what I mean? Like if if mm-hmm. I was an anti, I'd be celebrating. How like shit a caring is. father, you know? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I I have my fucking daughter in here, dude, and I I want to. You be know they can do better. You know they yeah. can do better. Literally, Yoki Mao is the only thing. <laughs> Yoki Mao is the only thing keeping me in this PV, dude. And then chat's gonna say, "What about cocky Jimmy? You owe she Henner." True. Um, look. Um. Yeah, dude. I'm just saying the you know the members looking good. You didn't have to try for that, all right? Uh-huh. Just... The lighting's nice. I don't know. The shot with the yeah. table, though. <laughs> trying, to, trying to go to the table shot. It's like 120 or something. Yeah, yeah it was very quick. I think they'll, maybe we'll come back again. The lens for I'm, I'm playing at times two speed and the lens for is so annoying. Yeah, it's very uh unnecessary. And you can tell it's the same one. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it repeats <laughs> eventually. Um Okay, should we rate all right. it? Yeah, let's rate it. Uh song first or PV first? I can't remember what we do. Uh we do PV first. All right, on go. Three, two, one, go. Four. Three. Oh, I gave it lower than you. I thought you would have given it lower. Mm-hmm. Look, if five think, is uh, is dead average, this is definitely below that. So it has to be at the highest of fucking four. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. Literally. Okay. Look, let me say the goods. Uh, the goods, FPV drone, <laughs> FPV drone, <laughs> FPV drone, wardrobe, hair and makeup. Wardrobe is good, actually. Actually, wardrobe might bring me up to a four. Wardrobe, hair and makeup, FPV drone. Those are the goods. <laughs> the bads, everything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the thing that bothered me the most with this music video is I feel like the i don't know how to describe it like the expression the members have it matches the vibe of the song and not in a good way like there's no variety in it they're kind of like stay stay still now it's time to dance with a little bit more of a smile now stay Mm. still it's a lot of that over and over and like i feel like i feel like they're not having fun and it's a disco song and they should be having fun they should be mm-hmm. grooving along with it. They should be moving around, you know. But then in this one, it's just like, all right, uh, get in positions. Okay. All right, next shot. Let's go. Yeah. So it feels very I, I monotonous. It yeah. I think it would have benefited with uh, maybe some, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like unchoreographed moments you know what I mean? yeah, yeah just like yeah like you said like shots of them having fun and there's something like that you know like being in a disco or in a club or something kind of just vibe and dancing with each other you know yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that and they have enough locations yeah. that they can make a story out of this but i feel like it's just different locations mm-hmm. and just getting like just checking off the list all right we got this shot all right we got this shot instead of like exploring a little bit yeah, and uh, <sighs> that's the lens flare. Uh, it'll never be Dude, more than a four because of the lens flare. <laughs> Whoever just it, whatever producer was in the editing bay and stuck their nose in <laughs> ruined it. And can you make this like the Star Trek movie? <laughs> can we make it more interesting? Add a lens flare, yeah, but make sure it shows up every three seconds. <laughs> Uh, so you want me to like shoot into the light so that the 
there's there's flare. No, I'll just add it. <laughs> just oh, I see. I, no, we I, don't I have the lights set up, away, and then there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Editor's like, there's no lens flare here. Just add it in. <laughs> just add it in post, dude. Um. Okay. What about the song? Oh. On on go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two. The only part I liked from the song was the ending, and I wish they would have started with that instead. And then there's there, there are like little hints of like, oh no, it, it, it's like you almost like perk up a little and you're like maybe there's a chance and then you're like oh no never mind the rest of the song is just whatever like there's a couple lines where like the bass line sounds like it's about to do something but it's like no or like it, there's a little breakdown you're like oh but it doesn't go anywhere like the this i think that the melody of the singing is is what really drags it down and i feel like there aren't enough highlights and it's just very monotone i know jimmy has some more so you more to say about that i'm just gonna say i i think this is my least favorite nogizaka a side mm. i chat has brought up monopoly right and uh i agree i'm not the biggest fan of monopoly i like monopoly in concept i like it it's a it's a it's a nogizaka song it's a very nogizaka song it's just a boring one this I is like, like not even that's with me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I kind of like Monopoly, but that's just me. <laughs> uh -huh. I, dude, it's just uh, this this. I don't know. I really don't like this song. I I think it's really boring. Um, I would immediately skip. I think I've never been so relieved that I didn't buy handshake tickets in my life. And that's that's a shitty feeling. I don't know. And, yeah, you don't even have to play the song from the CD. Just having the CD. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, this is <laughs> a monopoly. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. M monopoly isn't bad. Well, to me, it's not bad because it's for forgettable. It's just bad because it's very repetitive and it's very. Uh, one note as a song. This song is one note as a, of a song, and that one note I don't like. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, I don't know. It 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 sounds almost like I hate disco or something like that. I don't. Like I said, I think I think like we said, like AKB has done some really fun disco songs, right? Um. This one just really doesn't have anything going for it, dude. Um, for me, for me, and no, you yeah, know, yeah. I will, I will concede that there, like, you know, people watching on YouTube, uh, please feel free to share your opinion. Uh, there are a lot, there, there's a few people in chat that disagree with me, and uh, I'm not saying they're wrong, right? People, music is a, a completely subjective experience, so I'm not saying uh, they're wrong, but <laughs> they're not, I'm not saying they're wrong, but god, do you, do you have fucking ears? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> it it just doesn't change that this is really really not what I wanted, um, and that's yeah I don't know that maybe that's just a pill for me to swallow, but I really don't. Um, I'm just I just really uh, was disappointed with this track. Um, I really wanted to be yeah. uh, Chance No uh, Biodo's number one defender, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> before before I listened to it, I I, I logged onto uh -huh. Twitter and people were like. You know, a complaining because it was like a, a happy, uh, a, a happy song for for Mizuki's grad, and then like, oh, gross disco song. I'm like, disco songs are fun. Grad songs can be happy. What's wrong with y'all? Then I click on it. I'm like, hmm, hmm. You know, <laughs> like, okay, I don't agree with your takes, but yes, I will agree that this is not a good song. You know, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that, you know, that's just me. Like I said, there, there are people who are disagreeing with me in chat. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, 
do you are are you Chance Club Biodo's number one defenders? Are you uh are you their target audience? You know, were you one of the twenty eight thousand people that clicked like on the uh, PV? Let us know your thoughts. But uh, that's gonna be it Ooh. for the Nogi Zaka forty six news this week. So. You know what that means? We're going to take a quick break. Josh is going to get his camera sorted out and we'll be back with the uh, highlighted comments of the week and the uh, TV show highlight. And we're back. Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the highlighted comment of the week. Uh, this one goes to our friend Skvut. Skvut? I don't know. I'm so sorry. Uh, but regular commentary says, where the new episode? Sad face, sad face. Uh, because hey, there was no other comments to go from because I didn't. Oh it. no! Uh, like, thank you so much for asking. It is appreciated that you do remember us um, when we take some time off. Uh, I was sick. I'm sorry. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. Discord, you know? I'm that's. Struggling. I think that's where you be most up to date with everything that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but obviously, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get back on getting these episodes out at a regular time. But for now, um, thank you for your comments. All right, Mr. Box, it's time for the TV show highlights. It's part of the show where we go back and recap the stuff we watched this last week. Uh, of course, it's the regular shows. Hinata uh, Zaka de Aima Show, Soko Magatara Sakurazaka, and Nogi Zaka Koji Chew, uh, but of course, you know, any of the other stuff that we might watch throughout the week. Uh, did you watch anything this week, Mr. Box? Mm, I was gonna watch uh, the computer show, but I only watched part of it. They went to like this wacky store and they had like go around and find interesting things to buy under a, a certain budget. I think it's like $50. Mm, so they go mm. around and they're, like trying to find different items and show it off. And that's where I got to. I didn't see the items themselves. Like the main point of the show, I didn't watch. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I got distracted with something else. I, I think I was watching the the dating show with Hori Miona on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched that on my uh, my YouTube channel or my stream as well, my live stream on Twitch. Thank you. I think you know. I think you were the one who reminded me and linked it to me mm -hmm. to watch on mm -hmm. stream. Uh, a lot of fun. I actually really like watching shows like this. Um, I mentioned it like uh, I watch a lot of trashy reality show that scratches yeah, that itch, you know? trashy date reality dating shows, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I watch like a lot of like Korean romance dating show, like reality shows. So, uh, you know, it was very fun to kind of have that same kind of visceral feeling, right? Like, you know, some mm -hmm. of the moments were just like, oh, but it, now it's with, you know, uh, Shiroma Miru and uh, Hori Miona, dude. The people you're familiar uh, with, yeah. Yeah, former NMB48 member, and of course, obviously, Hori Miona, former Nogizaka member, uh, formerly my Oshiman, dude. Yeah. Look, I, I promise that this isn't coming purely from a, a jealousy standpoint, because I actually, Here we go, I, I don't know. I'm actually not, <laughs> not jealous of, of, uh, <laughs> Hori, dude. Miru on the other. Anyways, uh, I'm actually not that jealous. Um, I just, you know, look, as a as a Hori Miona fan, and, you know, she's always talking about, like, oh, dude, like, in some, some jack dudes, you know, all these buff-ass action stars. I kind of wanted her partner to be someone a little bit more in that vein. Her you type. know what I mean? <laughs> um. I, look, we only we only have one episode. I'm sure there is a uh, a long a long time for things to develop. Uh, maybe maybe things will change. But uh, I don't know. Like the guy, the guy, her, her partner was too like I don't know. Needed to be pampered. You know what I mean? Mm, and yeah. uh, I I just didn't find myself cuning for that. Right. Um, mm -hmm. whereas the, the Miru and, uh, her partner, I mean, he wasn't like a super manly man or anything like that, but I found myself like fucking ooh, a lot for, for those two. Uh, all know. I'm saying is Miru knows what she's doing. She has should have lots been me. of experience. Huh? <laughs> huh? Hmm? <laughs> I, I'm just uh, saying she's, 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 she's very, uh, she's always been very much of a fisher. So mm -hmm. she knows, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Which you know, it makes for good television, right? Because obviously, if the yeah, dude's yeah, fucking, true, honestly, like uh, if he's legitimately getting fished by her, that's part of the role. He's supposed to be her husband, you know. Yeah, the ending is gonna be even more heartbreaking. <laughs> it's 
stop. No, they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. Uh, no, it's a it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to to watch this uh, react with chat. Give our, our thoughts. You know, some people are uh, a fan of the baby boy. I'm not, but you know, so we, have, we have we have fans of the baby boy, and we uh, we have a little you know, we riff off of each other and stuff like that. Uh, come plug if you guys want to watch the show with me. It's every Mondays at around 7 p.m. I'm, I'm live on twitch.tv slash it's Jimu. Come come hang out for that. Um, aside from that, I did watch the first episode of I Love You, E-Y-E Love You, the the mm. romance drama that Music is in, that she's the chocolate oh, tear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's funny because uh, I completely forgot that that was that show. My friend kept like uh for, I'm just be honest he kept insisting that we watch it dude you know uh i had ran out of other things to watch and i couldn't he's like oh yeah we should watch this and i was like fuck i can't say no now because i i was literally just like i don't know what else to watch dude you know <laughs> so, <laughs> so i was like all right well we'll put up an episode um i'm not sure if i'll continue it i'm going to be honest i really don't like mm -hmm. uh, the writing i think it's kind of it's kind of bad um uh, okay but you know you got to give it maybe a couple episodes let him cook um yeah yeah honestly uh not not a lot of music in the first episode so maybe that's why off to um, a bad start yeah um you know he, he she was fine i guess so i don't know maybe we'll see maybe we'll see um i i just thought the writing was really uh not good easy or what oh just not good <laughs> Yeah, cheese. Well, cheesy's fine. I think with all these romance dramas, you kind of expect it. I expect cheesy. Mm. I expect some camp, but yeah. um, I kind of ranted wolf? about this yesterday. But the guy does not feel like a real person. He feels like someone written. He he sounds like a Korean man written by a Japanese woman who has only ever known a Korean man through watching K dramas. It's like a Korea boo, <laughs> like what a Korea boo's ideal. Yeah, man like is. what a Korea boo thinks Korean men are like. You know uh, what I mean? Okay. Like uh, he's uh, overly uh, cutesy and innocent and naive and romantic, um, but like it just doesn't feel like he has anything going on for him, right? Even his like his main character trait is that like, like the you know a thing that about him that's not that I love this girl is a. Oh, I just love sea otters. I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? You know, like, oh, aren't they so cute? I'm like, this guy isn't real, right? And like, well, once again, it's a drama. I know that none of these guys are real. Wait, does it keep I on bringing want... this up? Uh, it's part of his character. He's like a like an environmental studies major or some shit like that. Um, but that's like literally his trait. Like he he he's he's a uh, he's basically like a, a DoorDash delivery guy. That's how he meets the main girl. Um, he delivers her Korean food and just happens to write her a little memo. Oh, if you want good bibimbap, literally that's what he says. She orders bibimbap and he's like, oh, if you want good bibimbap, you should go here. And he draws a cute little otter. I'm like, oh my God, dude, this guy is he, literally the, the guy has like the same five stories, right? <laughs> the next day invites her. You should come back to my house to eat japche. Do you like japche? You know? <laughs> oh. You're so pretty while you're eating japchae. I'm like, God, oh. And like I said, I don't need this to be believable, right? I literally watched, just finished watching another K drama called My Demon, where the guy is a uh, is one is like one of those demons that makes deals with people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'll give you riches, but in ten years, your your soul is mine, kind of thing. And he has fucking powers. All right. It doesn't need to be believable, but there's something cringe about this kind of unbelievable mm, for me. Like it's forced. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it. It well, the the main character, the main guy, feels dehumanized. Like I said, he feels mm. like a uh, like I said, yeah, like like the embodiment of uh, someone's fantasy, right? It's like if you played a video game and then the female lead was definitely felt like she was written by a twelve year old. Who, who only knows, like, he just wants big titty Lara Croft from Tomb Raiders. You know what I mean? Totally. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the, it's the romance drama equivalent of that. So we'll see. Mm, okay. um, yeah, pandering, is I guess, is, is the word. Um, it's too mm, pandered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, anyways, so that, that's my take on that. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll give it some more time to let them cook. Um, aside from that, did watch a bunch of the YouTube stuff. You know, those are always fun. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Hinata Zaka. The Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> Hinata Zaka taking me back to 2015, dude. What the fuck was this? Uh, was this YouTube video, dude? Uh, yeah, they're. I, I, feel like, I feel like a couple of YouTubers are like returning with the Five Nights. I've noticed. Really? I'm like, what's going it's on? Like, yeah, there must be some trend know. or something was, going on. Yeah. Why? Why is Five Nights at Freddy's popping off, dude? I don't um, know. It just happened out of nowhere. I th this video was kind of fun. Um, oh, they put out a movie. Not, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> not because of Five Nights at Freddy's or anything like that, but just because of. Uh, the, the members themselves uh pario is really funny in this oh, yeah. uh, very enjoyable <laughs> uh, uh -huh. you know obviously being very animated but like uh, the way she's talking to you is very uh it's the giga chad pario you mm -hmm. know um mm -hmm. i got jump scared quite a few times towards the end um but aside from that you know they've got some, they put some sound effects in there that sound like fucking you know they got like the the old kids cheering sound effects in this video like, yeah. that's just in the game though no? Oh, is it in the game? I thought it was in the. I think I so. it was in the editing. Okay, maybe. Yeah, when, when you, yeah, when you win like, the when you mm -hmm. win the night, there's a like kids cheering because they're coming into the, to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's that generic sound effect. So I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is some 2015 shit, dude. I know, right? Um. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Sakura Zaka had a pretty, uh, pretty fun episode on their ch YouTube channel. It's uh, very Bimyo though. Um, it's uh, it's Kosaka Marino, um, just uh, trying to uh, scare uh, oh. Honos, uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know. Um, if this video would load, Jesus, there was potential, there was potential. Our computer is going to shit, the computer is going to shit. Um, oh no, your computer, my internet with the powers combined, <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Podcast. for real. Um, I'm like trying to like delete stuff. Do I need hard drive space, dude? What, what's going on here? Um, yeah, dude, this video is not loading for me at all. I was like trying to talk about it, but yeah, it's 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 fun. It's, it's just a very simple idea, right? It's like uh, Kosaka Marino does like some really childish pranks throughout. Um, you know, it's like literally like, oh, I'm gonna hide underneath the table and and pop out. You know when um and 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 hit her with like a fucking uh little 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 the little popper thing you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just 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 stuff like that dude uh I I will show you guys if uh oh here we go um yeah uh just really really childish pranks dude you know sneaking out and you know because she she said before you know she really likes. Honos's reactions. She watches like the Honos getting surprised, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, Matomic videos and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. uh, they're they're. I, I won't spoil it. They 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 get a team together for the end. Is it a success? Is it a fail? You have to watch to find out. But it's a pretty fun video. <laughs> you have to watch. Mm -hmm. Your show and then, uh, over, yeah, yeah. And then over in uh, Nogizaka Haishinchu land, we got the Ogawa, Ogawa Aya gets a mission <laughs> from uh, Umezawa Minami, dude. It's like, oh, dude, I need Why to do those TV shows <laughs> where they see I think like, it's based off of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's based off of that. Uh, Ume's mm -hmm. the mom, you know, she's sending her to get a cake for 12th birthday live. And so, uh -huh. you know, it's like, oh, here's your mission. You got to walk down, what, three blocks, four blocks? Yeah. <laughs> like she's never uh, walked three blocks in her life. Four blocks and back from the stadium to pick up the cake. Um, it's cute. I don't know. It's it's Ogawa Aya, you know, like she's, she's a cute little goober. I don't know what the it's funny because if, if really... this was a uh, America, it'd be like, all right, time to get in the car to drive those three blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not walking that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I gotta say, dude. Nogizaka, you, you guys gotta stop infantilizing Ogawa Aya. All right, she's never gonna grow up at this rate. You can't keep treating her like a kid. She brings back the cake at the end. It's all fucked up, and and Ume is just like, oh, kawaii. I'm like, she's 16 years old. <laughs> all right, she's 16. Uh -huh. She's six. She's 16 years old. Do you know what fucking Naruto was 16 years old when he ended the fourth great ninja war? All right. Ichigo Kurosaki was 16 years old when he defeated Aizen. All right. 
Ogawa Aya, <laughs> Ogawa Aya can do more than pick up a cake. All right, <laughs> Jimmy, you went to a whole other level there. <laughs> I would tell you, I would talk about Luffy, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think the main point here is Aya can do more than what you guys are giving her the chance to, you know? You guys are treating her like a child, not a child anymore. Look, no, nah, I mean, I, I get it. She's the youngest member. They're just doing it because it's a cute, fun yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm just... I'm just ribbing. I had to bring up anime characters, though, because last time I got fucking rip-rolled by my fucking chat, dude. I was like, you know what I was doing when I was 16? I was out doing drugs and rock and roll. And then chat was like, I didn't think drugs and rock and roll were invented yet when you were 16, Jimmy. <laughs> so I had to bring it to Naruto. <laughs> um, anyway. I mean, you didn't have to bring it up again, but... <laughs> I, it's you know I'm a little I'm a little bit upset, dude. <laughs> I'm a little upset. It's still in my mind. It's still fresh, dude. It's, uh, it's still oh, lingering. No. Oh, um, no. All right, let's let's uh, let's get to some of the regular shows. Uh, first, we have Hinata Zaka de Aima show. Uh, this week is uh, the the auction. <laughs> <laughs> the auction, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, basically, it's the members, you know, they all got shit they want to get rid of. Like, hey, Kasuga, you want to buy this shit off of me, man? And Kasuga, you know, he gives it a little looky loo, gives it the the inspection. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, is this good? Is this, I don't, is this, uh, is this useful or not, dude? Uh, you know what? Where, how much did you want for this? 20. Uh, you know, two two thousand yen. 000. I'll give you fifteen yen for it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's like what? Um, but yeah, uh, this is, this one's funny, dude. Uh, what? Oops. Uh, you know, Katoshi tries to auction off one of her uh, what is it? Her foot leg massager and a hula hoop, dude. Uh, and her main selling point is like, oh yeah, dude, I use this with my bare foot, dude. I'm like, Jimmy's like sold. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'll take 20. I'll take 20. Um, I think the, the funniest part was uh, Kasuga like wanting to, like, he's like, oh, let me, let me try it. I got to try it to yeah, see you if try I, it out, see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. To see if I like it or not, dude, you know? And then she's like, oh, well, actually, uh, this, this shit's still mine. And uh, if you don't buy it, I don't want your fucking nasty ass feet yeah. all in it. <laughs> yeah. Dude. You know, so uh, she she has like hold it up for him to like, you know, kind of uh, just put to use on his calves. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that was that was pretty funny. Um, ends up not selling it, of course, because uh, Kasuga completely fucking low balls her. You know, she's like, you know, what? for like two yen or whatever the fuck you offered for it, I I can just give it to my my fucking dad, dude. Mm -hmm. Um, like how he's like, this is used already, and plus it was your feet, so I don't want. I don't really want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it? We also got what? Uh, Kawada trying to uh, sell her. Um, what is it? Like a, a craft she made of like a like a castle. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a paper castle, whatever. Tries to sell it for like twenty seven hundred yen. Kasuga's like, I'll give you a hundred and twenty nine yen. Dude, you know, so instead of like twenty seven dollars or you know, twenty bucks or whatever, he's like, I'll give you I'll give you a dollar for it. Yeah, you yeah. know. They're like, what the fuck? And he's like, Well, dude, the whole point of a craft is to build it, dude. You you already mm -hmm. fucking did it. That's like that's that's all that's all of the, the, the fun part, dude. You know what I mean? Um and then uh you know they, they gotta do the whole like oh so are you going to buy it dude are you gonna mm -hmm. are you gonna sell it for that price and uh she actually does she's like <laughs> she's like i don't want it anymore yeah <laughs> so i'll try and get rid of it dude it's like damn you really you really didn't want to keep that huh right um yeah i yeah i i know what it is dude she's just like i gotta make room for more crafts bro uh true mm -hmm. heo 10 photo books <laughs> Auctions off uh or sells like a, a figure of a an Oji San dude, you know? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So dude uh 
<laughs> when the, the like loin- <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like, it kind of looks like Kasuga, dude i forget what she wanted for it dude it was oh she wanted uh was it something 50 bucks dude five thousand yen dude or, or sorry yeah. it's really more like uh like 30 you know a little bit mm-hmm. a little bit more than 30 dollars for it uh and he's like hmm five thousand yen you drive a hard bargain how about five thousand and one yen <laughs> <Got him. laughs> yeah dude and then so obviously she's like yeah i'll fucking sell it also yeah, five thousand okay. <laughs> dude and so he has to commit with that dude and then uh uh-huh. what is it at the end uh what is it it's kyonk with a, a shaved ice maker dude um uh, Thing's kind of nice, dude. I kind of want one. So I was like, I kind of want one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was she sold that shit for like thirty dollars or something, dude. All right, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. It makes it makes like the nice ones too, dude. Um, as soon as mm-hmm. she they, they all laugh at her because she can't get it to work. Um, but yeah, dude, she makes some some nice shaved ice, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, are you a shaved ice enjoyer, Mister Box? I am a shaved ice enjoyer. It's my give me all the designs. Give me Hawaiian shaved ice. Give me oh, give me a uh, Japanese shaved ice. Korean, I'm all for it. This guy gets me. This guy gets me. I'm the same. Oh, shaved ice sweet. is actually mm-hmm. shaved ice is actually my favorite dessert, dude. Um, I did try. Uh, yeah, and then uh, obviously we got more of this uh, next week as well. Look forward to uh, what is it? Uh, him trying on Yamashita Haruka's uh, old shirt. I think uh, I think people on Twitter found out that this is like what she was wearing in her audition video. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no sentimental value at all. Yeah, she's like, get get rid of this dude. <laughs> um, all right. Over in uh, Soko Magatra Sakura Zaka Land, this this week's episode was really fun. It was a giant music battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of like a you know the the, the classic kind of uh, uh, challenges. For, we start off with like the, the the fast intro quiz, dude. You know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's harder than it looks. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you just got like a like a, like a split section, dude. We did on the uh, <laughs> we, we saw how hard it was. Yeah. Then uh what is it? They do like a a rever- oh sorry. There's like a few different ones, like you know, playing it in reverse, dude. Um <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. Then the like what there's there's like member the member has to like tap out the rhythm using tap shoes, and then you have to figure out which one it is, dude. I and imagine then, them uh, ideas. They're just mm-hmm. like, oh, what else can they do? Oh, why don't they tap it out? Oh, that's kind of boring. What if they use tap shoes, though? Yeah. yeah. Were, oh, so now we're yeah. cooking. Uh, then they have like the uh, the karaoke part where it's like, uh, if you remember the lyrics correctly, right? So like, if you they'll play the song. If you recognize the song, you have to come up and then you have to sing the lyrics and you have to sing them. I'd correct. be the worst at that. To get, yeah, same. Uh, but you know this this part was like probably the highlight. It's probably the funnest part. Uh, Ten Chan just goes crazy, you know. She oh, just yeah. keeps going up every time, and then like to the point that like Tsuchi and Sawabe are like, "Yo, is this 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 girl drunk, dude? She's been drinking back there." <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> dude, like, I, I mean, mm-hmm. I'll say, dude, I would love to go uh, karaoke with Ten Chan, dude, because she she looks like she's she's one of those people that goes to karaoke to have a good time. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, there are people that go to karaoke that like go to like show off, and I hate those people the most. Or, um, when people can't read the room, you know what I mean? And we're we're all picking bangers and fun songs that everybody can sing, and then somebody puts on a fucking Evanescence track, and it's like, no, no, just me. <laughs> I'm like. Oh. And uh, if this if this sounds very specific, it's because it is. It's a very specific memory. <laughs> um, but you know, Ten Chan be like, "Yo, put up that banger! I got you, dude." You know. Mm-hmm. Um, up there, and then after that, we got like, you know, uh, members who don't fucking. Or all the members have to come up and like, you know, they'll they give them a song and they have to like figure it out on piano, and then the other members have to guess what song it is, dude. You know what I mean? Right, uh, like those people who don't know how to play the piano, it's just like mm-hmm. uh, let me just mess around with these keys. 
Yeah. I think the the funniest part for me was like uh what is it, Karen? She's like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, Oh, I don't I don't fucking know, dude. I don't, I don't know what this song is. And then she's like, pass, pass. And then she's like, Oh, this is Moody. Oh wait, no, I got this. And then she's like, <laughs> it just like it does it perfectly, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I had to play this song before in school or something. I can't remember. And I was like, damn, dude. Yeah, they picked like the perfect thing for you, dude. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, mm-hmm. more of this episode, uh, more of this kind of stuff next week. Look forward to that. I mean, I know I am. Uh Good all right. Show. Last show. We've got uh Nogizaka Koji Chu. It's a continuation of Last week's episode, it's the uh, no old battle, right? Uh, who's the fucking dummy, dude? So we got like, you know, different quiz questions and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you know, some some of that stuff. Uh, I I get some, I don't. Uh, we all know that yeah. like, for for us is always going to be the English stuff. You yes, know? Like, sir. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> um, oh, this one, this there, this part was funny. Who who was this? Uh, I think it was a. Uh, Tamachan dude, it was like, oh, yeah, oh yeah. you fill in the uh, the last thing is, you know, and then uh-huh. it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, uh, here you are, thank you, I'm tomato, and then they zoom yeah. in, it's like, oh shit, dude, the dialogue box, it's it is the from, tomato, uh, <laughs> tomato, dude, she's crazy, she's cracked. Um, oh, the, right, the first though. one, the first English one is so fucking funny, dude. It's like, um, you know, fill in what what do you think the person would be saying here. And Ray, she gives a no right yeah. answer, obviously, being from California. But she gives a whole, hey, can I see your phone just in case you're having a relationship with somebody else? Like, everyone's like, huh? <laughs> yeah. First, first <laughs> they're like, oh, first they're like, Kakoi, you know, like, oh, damn, she knows English so good. Uh-huh. But like, you know, she, she so went well above and beyond so where they're like, what? <laughs> No, but then they're like, oh, so what does it mean? And then she explained it in Japanese, and they're like, girl, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> girl, are you okay? <laughs> Who hurt you, dude? I always wish they um, started off with hers just to see, like, the entry level. Like, all right, let's yeah, see what yeah, a, a yeah, native yeah. can say. Um, yeah, uh, a, lot, a lot of fun highlights. We got, like, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, ego in here. We got some drawing stuff, too, right? Like, uh... I think it's like, oh, dude, they're doing the the Sabo Ten pose or whatever. Uh, draw draw these two people to to complete. Didn't Ball Chan draw something? <laughs> yeah, something. yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, they give the example, the right example. It's fucking uh, cocky, and uh, what is it, duck? Right, looks really good. Cocky, yeah. so cute, dude. You know, but yeah, dude, that's how they would do the pose. Uh, mm-hmm. Nagi's is good as well, except the dude. Is like she's holding his him by his feet, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, dude, like, oh, no, her grip crazy. would be crazy, dude. No way, <laughs> no way, dude. And then, uh, lastly, we have uh, the infamous ball chan, dude. And uh, yeah, she drew something, all right. She drew something, all right. Like, wait, if I dude, saw that in real it? life, I'd. <laughs> I'd run away. I'd fucking as run as fast dude. as I can. Yeah. They're like, oh shit, did you draw a Saboten man? Like a cactus man? Because it's a cactus pose. Is that looks like that's that, is that what happened? Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> True. The worm yeah, guy, dude. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the fucking mole worm guy, dude, during the yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, York New City arc. York yeah, New, I got yeah, you. Yeah, bro. yeah, that's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I got you, dude. <laughs> I'm like, uh I got some fucking Nen users in here, huh? <laughs> But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got you know the uh, the results of a uh, you know who who the dummies are. Um, all right, so there there were six different topics uh, with twenty questions each, so you had a total of one hundred twenty points possible. How how many points do you think the worst person got? How much do I know they got, or how much did I think they were going to get? How much did you think they got? I would have thought like a like a twenty, you know, five points for each. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I get it. I'm like, you know, idols. They haven't been in school for a while. I get it. I, I was, you know, it's fine. Twelve, twelve, maybe. 
Uh, mm-hmm. The worst did half of that. They failed my fail my failure. Uh, Yumiki now with six points. Um, look at she her knows go, what she's dude. doing. She knows. What look she's at her doing. succeed. So proud of her, dude. So happy. She's just a comedic genius. She puts all the brain Honest- power in comedy. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yes. Um, you know, there's a lot of people I would say that's copium for, but Yumiki is so good on variety show. I'm like, clearly she found her niche. She found her talent, dude. It's mm-hmm. all good. And like she's smart when it comes to like those, like when it comes to that, like she's able to recall it. But I I feel like half half of this is like her just messing around and just like oh, I'm gonna write troll answers, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I write some answers for variety, and then also just you know this is like. But I wrote a little too much though. <laughs> and, well, you know, it's it's like when you play, are you smarter than a fifth grader, right? A lot of this stuff is yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Just don't really remember because it doesn't really come up in day to day. Miki's one of the older ones too, so. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, very enjoyable episode. Um, I think that yeah, they wrapped it up, so we'll probably have something new. Not probably, we will have something new next week. Um, speaking of next week, that's it for this week's episode. So we'll have to catch you guys next week. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you drop a comment down below. What do you think about uh, some of the new uh, goods coming up from Hinata Zaka? Are you excited for? Uh, what is it? The third anniversary Blu-ray coming out from Sakura Zaka. What are your thoughts on 35th single by Nogi Zaka? 46. Let us know what you think and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.